Playing Battle Pyramid on a Sunday morning. Sunday morning Battle Pyramid. What is up? <clears throat> right about now, it's time. I agree. What about now? It's time to Get pumped, you guys. We're doing Battle Pyramid on a Sunday morning. What's up, Pika Emblem? Man, you guys gotta start liking the stream. What's happening? Just like before you forget. I know we all forget, but come on, we can do this. Yeah, Cat and Fish FC. Yes, you do, they flower. I'm not gonna start playing until like two, like five minutes ish. What's up, Rubob KND? Well, there's a Reggie stool on your screen that's dancing. Got some hype music going on. If you want, if you guys want to know where this song is from, because lots of people ask, here it is. This is a this is a mashup. What's up, Parasite? Sandwich time. Bye for now. Yes, I will be here. Don't worry, they flower. My member count is plummeting because of I haven't been doing Battle Factory. Look at this shit. You guys ready for this? And I'm not I'm not complaining. I just think this is funny. Look at this. <laughs> this looks like a joke. I'm not kidding. It's because a bunch of people got gifted memberships like a month ago. Oh man. Fuck Bumble. Fuck Bumble. Yeah, I gotta set another world record. Did you guys see that Goomer broke the level 50 doubles? Oh wait, I gotta turn this down, I'm sorry. What's up, Ferds? Well, I'm not doing Factory. I am doing Battle Pyramid. But yeah, say hey, Ferd's got an insane streak in level 100 doubles. So yeah, happy for Goomer, happy for Goomer. 
All right, no more, no more Buck Bumble. No more Buck Bumble. Let's do the Battle Pyramid. Yes, show him, Gabe. Well, hey, here it is. This is in the Battle Frontier, and it's a challenge run. Um, the current records for Factory, um, 155, which is my level 50 singles world record. Now, Goomer has 105 asterisk, because it's still going for level 50 doubles. Level 100 singles was just broken by Wildcat. He is at 119 now, and he that is also an asterisk. Wildcat can keep pushing that. And then the level 100 doubles record is, I think, 104 by some random dude that just got it by himself with no assistance or anything like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Man, it's funny that, uh, man, dude, there is a part of me that at one point wants to go for the clean sweep in factory. Um, but man, that would, that would require so much effort and I'm in school again now, but I do like a part of me want, I want to clean sweep. Yeah. I'm the only one that's gotten over 100 wins in, uh, more than two in like, I, I nobody else has gotten a hundred wins in two of the factory facilities. Um, I have 100 wins in three of them, except level 100 doubles. Um, yeah, uh, should, you think I should do a little run over spring break? That would actually be kind of cool. Maybe, maybe. What I do know is that we got to get our next team, which is Gyarados. And look at this, guys. We're on to our next box. Ooh, the volcano box. And then I got to nickname these. If you guys want to nickname some of these Pokemon, by the way, exclamation point nicknames. It is $5 to nickname a Pokemon that you will see on stream. Um, these ones are already taken, but that's okay. We got Kaido, Gan Ganbate, and Flytrap. All right. Kaido. How's everybody doing on this Sunday morning? We excited for the all-day pyramid stream? No, not Quasissi, never. Ganbate. Someone, I forgot what they said this means. It means something badass in another language. But I, I kind of like it, dude. I like the nickname Ganbate. This one is a little bit less creative, but you know what? Here we are. It's Flytrap. All right. So yes, anything on that spreadsheet that has not been taken um, is up for grabs. Sudowoodo has been named Tree. 29 Rally, this is an innovative nickname and I'm happy that you made it Tree. You, and also, yeah, Sudowoodo will be seen today. I mean, I I'm sure, unless I lose, which I don't see myself losing this early on, but yeah, Tree is, tree is in. This is a great nickname. I also would have I also would have enjoyed big pseudo, but that's okay. What is up, Shom? Yes, exclamation point info, by the way, if you guys want to know what is this challenge, or you guys can watch some of my videos. And you know what? We're gonna do an interactive poll. How about um How about this? New poll for you guys. Are you planning to watch the Super Bowl? I'm not going to watch the Super Bowl. Dude, okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's something like that, Five Sigma. Will you restart if you lose, Stefan Wise? Yeah, I think I will. I will. I, I definitely gonna restart if I lose. Um, I want to complete the challenge. Now, I'll admit, am I dedicated to this? Am I dedicated to watch it? <laughs> you're, you're right, not fair. Am I dedicated to this challenge like I am Battle Factory? No, because this isn't like a world record. This isn't something that's like actual Pokemon Emerald history. You know what I mean? Like this, this isn't actual Pokemon Emerald history. Like, this is just a fun personal challenge that I've created to make the pyramid more interesting. Um, yeah, wow, we have a lot of people know. Okay, new question. 
Well, actually, I bet none of you here watch football, so. You found out. Sandwich done, by the way. Guys, everybody congratulate They Flower from, on finishing their sandwich. What kind of sandwich are we having today, They Flower? We need to know. This is an important question. Vandalay they. Ah, yes, you Americans and your gridiron. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this sick ass team we got, you guys. That's right, man. Encore Victory Bell. We got the Protect Ice Beam, Icy Wind. We got the Hyper Beam. Ooh, this is crazy. This is the fight floor. And I'll talk about the team very briefly. Alright, you guys. So, the idea of this team... First off, let me give... Uh, I'd like to give the leftovers to you. Leftovers to you. So, the idea of this team is that... Okay, versus all of these fighting types, right? I'm just using band HP flying to kill all of them. Another beautiful thing about Intimidate is that it reduces wild encounters. But specifically, if a wild Pokemon would be 5 levels or lower... If that encounter would have happened, there is now a 50% chance that it doesn't happen. So if I run into a, a level 98 Polyrath, it will automatically still be a wild encounter. But Intimidate does help a lot. And because Intimidate is so good, I am my plan on this is to fish for items. Um, <laughs> yeah, Vandalay. Dude, I would be watching the Super Bowl if the Lions were in it, but, you know, they aren't, so... Unfortunate loss for the Lions if anybody is here on Sunday morning. The only pro sport I follow is Emerald Battle Factory. <laughs> That's pretty funny, man. Love it. Okay, I wasn't sure about putting this on Pumpernickel, but it slaps. Wait, spicy tuna on Pumpernickel? I don't think I've ever had Pumpernickel. Like, what the fuck is Pumpernickel? Like, I've heard of it, but it's just kind of one of those things that you say to be funny. Pumpernickel? Yeah, Johan, yeah. I feel like if you're a competitive sports fan, you might like competitive Pokemon. Oh, right, here we go. Let's, um... Should I battle this dude right away? Is this a double? No, not a double. This way, is it a double? Hyper Potion. Big, big hit. So right now, I'm feeling okay on my stock of Hyper Potions. What I am very worried about is my stock of revives. I, my revives are, are not looking good right now. Um, revives are scary. I need more revives. So that's what we're fishing for. Um, okay. Let's just battle this guy right away. Because also, if you guys are new here, I have a self-imposed rule that I have to battle at least one trainer per floor. Oh, shit. Alright, that's annoying. Um, who was this trainer again, you guys? That's actually really annoying. Um, fuck. Who was this? Yeah, I have that Sacred Ash. I'll use that at some point, man. Oh. Not right on. Let, let's see. Let's say it's right on four and has a problematic rock slide. I've been intimidated. It's doing a shit ton with rock slide. But I don't think I... Oh, wait. I have Victory Bell. Victory Bell was an idea here, right? Yes. Yeah, to go into Victory Bell, I outpace... I don't take that much and I'll heal it all back. Yes, this is why we also have Victory Bell. Let's go Fly Trap. Don't Rock Tomb. Nice. This is probably right on four. Nice. We got him here. Yes, and we're already back to full. Easy. Mason. The exit is down. Okay. So because... I just don't want to miss items. Let's get some items. I kind of wish he told me how many items were on the floor. We're fine here. Yep. 
Our range is increased. Really trying to dodge trainers here. But I want items. Here, there we go. There's an item. Is there a trainer blocking it? Nope. Nice. Yes! Big revive, you guys. Big revive. Okay. I realized... So, I was thinking the other day... Uh, this floor's gimmick is just fighting types. I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, why do not as many people watch Pyramid as opposed to Factory? And I was realizing that, like, okay, it's kind of understandable because Pyramid, there's a lot of moments where there's not a lot of action. I'm just kind of walking around. You know what I mean? There's not too much intensity right now. But in the later floors of Pyramid, it does get more intense because it's like, oh shit, like, LRC is, like, low on resources or... Whatever, I am- Oh, there's the exit. Okay, so we're dodging the exit. We want items. X attack is interesting. Is this a double? No, just a sneaky corner trainer. Okay, so we're gonna dodge them. You know what? I think I'm fine with how many items we got. Let's just get to the end. I don't want to waste- I don't want to keep wasting hidden power flyings. Let's just get to the end right now. Okay. Now we are on floor two. Yes, Jason, right? Yep. Yeah, 29 rally. And you know what? That's okay for me. I think I need a break from working towards a freaking world record. <laughs> but will that, will that, like, I am still competitive, but will that, that edge will come to me. Yeah. Yeah, Mithridium. You're right. You're right. You're right. what we got we're just looking for, i am i am using this round to fish for items because check out this next round i am not super confident in this lapras illumise team very not confident in my charizard team like at all my charizard team is going to need hyper potions out the wazoo look at look at how many mons i have to switch wigglytuff into and i don't have instant healing on wigglytuff um, it, w that's gonna be tough. And my Charizard for that strategy is going to be at 1 HP, which is very scary as well. This team's also definitely gonna need Hyper Potions. So I am really just trying to maximize this round right now as a resource gaining round. Oh yeah, Zarya, were you there for my little battle tent thing? Lumberry, I'll take it. Oh, whoa, there's the exit. Okay. We know where the exit is. This is annoying. The fake out damage that I'll be taking from Yama. Something I don't like. Just because HP matters, man. Because I don't... All the damage sticks. Ether, sure. Another whatever item. I do have to find a trainer to battle. I'm really going to the other side of the pyramid. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Ah. See, man, I don't like that chip I'm taking. Oh my god. Why is it all Hariyama, bro? Lum, is this a double? No. Um, do I want to battle this dude right away? Oh my gosh. I don't like... Dude, this is kind of wasting PP at times. Oh, here's an item. Oh no. Oh, this is a dragon tamer, dude. Right? Or no, no. Let's see. Hold on, you guys. Good lord, that's scary. Um... What was this, Vince? Yep, this could be any Gengar. Mother of God, this is one of eight Gengars. Wigglytuff is Gil, you got it. Wigglytuff is Gil. Gil, not Gil. Thank you, thank you, Terry Bogard. Oh, wow, this is bad. Okay. 
So we don't, so obviously I have to be wary of Thunderbolt. This is precisely why I have Piloswine on this team instead of any other ground type. I specifically decided to pair this with Piloswine because it's the only ground immune that isn't weak to um, ice. Um, so I can handle, you know, Thunderbolt, Gengar and stuff, and I need to Icy Wind it. So this is exactly where we go, Piloswine. No need to think, let's go Pilo. Psychic. Ooh, why did it click Psychic? Okay, that means it doesn't have Thunderbolt. Don't drop, don't drop. Okay. So we know it's a Thunderboltless Gengar. So it's not Gengar 3. It's not... Okay, could... It's... Could be Gengar 4, definitely. Not Gengar 5. Not Gengar 6. Not Gengar 7. And not Gengar 8. I think this is guaranteed Gengar 4. It's the only one with Psychic and not Thunderbolt. So... Guile. Yeah, okay, oh, thanks, Blue. So this is definitely Gengar 4. This doesn't really change how we play. We're still gonna Icy Wind. Oh, that's kind of terrible for me. That's actually their best case scenario because they're gonna chunk my ass with Fire Punch right now and I have to hit an Icy Wind. First, I'll protect for, he for healing. I don't think there's anything that can go wrong here. Yep, there's the Fire Punch. It's Gengar 4. Let's Icy Wind and hope we hit. I sh... I don't think I'm safe to crit, but... Yes! Okay, so now... Um, I kill this with my Choice Band Gyarados. So this is precisely why I have Icy Wind on Piloswine. Is because now, at minus one speed, I outpace the Gengar and I kill it with Band HP Flying. So here I can protect for more healing on Piloswine. And then I can go Gyarados into the Fire Punch and click HP Flying. Just hope for no burn. Nice. That feels good to see in action, man. That feels really good to see in action. That's cool stuff, isn't it? Isn't that kind of cool? I don't know. That's just kind of sick. I, I, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm happy that that worked out. Yeah, we already know where the exit is, so let's just go to it. Another revive! Huge- Oh! <laughs> Did you guys see that, dude? I panicked, man. I panicked when I saw that girl. Oh, another item. Okay, I'll take X attack. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that, man? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I, I use speed up as if speed up mattered there, bro. Like, as if I could just speed up and get away. Oh, man. Okay. Wow. Instant exit again. I don't know if I want to battle a gentleman necessarily. Wow. Lots of trainers here. Holy crap! Dude, I think I just got all three items that I would want. Who am I battling, though? I have- I have some options. Do I want to battle a gentleman? Or a guitarist? Like, likely a guitarist. Right? Okay, guitarist? I mean, it, it should not be a guitarist, right? That's just asking for an electric type, right? Billyscape is not... <laughs> so the pseudo Wudo is named Tree. Zapdos is named Bird. Guys, we, Sunflora now needs a nickname. Who's going to name it Plant? Someone needs to nickname it Plant. Or they can go a very complicated nickname to be contrarian and be funny. Thank you for the donation, Billyscape. You rock. Okay, so the question is, do I go for the electric type trainer so that I can own them with Piloswine? I don't think so, because they could have, like, an Electabuzz with Fire Punch, and then I need to heal. No, trainer class does literally matter. It actually does. It, it does. It literally does matter. 
Like, they actually do bring stuff. The gentleman brings a lot of random stuff. Like, the gentleman brings good Pokemon, though, that are very varied. I kind of like the predictability of the electric types. However, my team is also incredibly weak to Lantern, isn't it? Let's see. Or I think my Gyarados gets outpaced by Lantern, right? Lantern 1. Or maybe I am faster than the fastest Lantern. Oh, I'm fine versus Lantern. You know what? I'm going to go for the Guitarist. I'm going to go for the Guitarist because I know what to expect. So let's go for the Guitarist. If it is, it could be a bird trainer, I guess. Oh god, it is. It's a bird keeper, it's not the guitarist. Ah. Okay. Oh god, okay. Hello, Gyarados. Really terrible matchup for me. Um, like, actually terrible. I forgot what my strategy was versus Gyarados. Oh, I actually totally forgot what my strategy was for Gyarados. Um... was this? What bird trainer was this? I keep forgetting to look at their trainer names. Who is their bird keeper? What was the bird keeper's name? Because it was Harold? Okay, it was Harold. Alright. So, the reason that I'm asking that, you guys, is I have a sheet that I can find out what kind of Pokemon they might have. Gyarados one. Alright, they can have any Gyarados. Yeah, they can have all- I mean, usually they can have any Gyarados. Okay. The Gyarados 1. Gyarados 2 is scary as hell. Um, Gyarados 3 also thunders here. So Piloswine is a good switching into two of these. But Gyarados 4. What happens when I go Piloswine into Gyarados 4? Gyarados 4 is going to Dragon Dance. I really want to Encore it. But I can't Encore it unless Victory Bell is faster. And I don't want its attack to just keep increasing. Unless I do- No, because then if it, if it keeps getting to plus one, it's going to Earthquake. Oh, you know what I would do? Oh, that's kind of funny. You know what I might have to do? If it's Gyarados 4, I might have to go into Piloswine and spam Icy Wind. Spamming Icy Wind until... Gyarados is in rest range or sees a kill with Earthquake. When it clicks Earthquake and it's at lower speed, I would then Encore with Victory Bell into Earthquake and then go into Gyarados to 2 hit KO of HP flying. The problem with that is that that requires that requires sacrificing two Pokemon. Yeah, it already intimed us. Yes, Maggie Meek. Yep, it's the exact same set. You're gonna warn you, Nil Bustos, about Gyarados or about the Bird Keeper. Yeah, man. I mean, I think I'm still happy with my decision to battle that Overworld Sprite Trainer, which could have been a Guitarist or a Bird Keeper. Um, man, dude, do I? Yeah, I don't know if I go into. I mean, I feel like I go into Piloswine. What's wrong with me going into Victory Bell? What's the worst thing that happens with Victory Bell, right? What I like about Victory Bell is into Gyarados 2, I can Encore the Thunderbolt. Oh no, they're faster, never mind. They would just Fire Blast or Blizzard me. Oh, that's awkward. Well, I mean, what do I even do about Gyarados 2? Honestly, like... I mean, how healthy is my Gyarados right now? Does my Gyarados eat a... Dude, Gyarados 2 might just sweep me without Hyper Potions. It's faster than me. It also guaranteed kills me. Dude, Gyarados 2 actually sweeps me right now. Hold on a second. That's easily the biggest problem right now. Um. Wow, this is really bad. Because Gyarados 2 clicks Thunderbolt, kills me. Hydro Pump kills me. Fire Blaster Blizzard likely kills me. Holy crap, man. Hi, Lily. Thanks, Curtis Thompson. Have a good day at work. You're from Israel? That's awesome. Welcome, Sean. Welcome. Bird Keepers are the new rock stars. Yeah. Man, okay. No, actually, though, what do I do? I mean, I have to scout first, right? I, I, 
Am I, how scared? I'm not scared of Gyarados 3 because Victory Bell should 1v1 it. Yeah, Victory Bell should 1v1 this. So, and Gyarados 3 will reveal itself right now because Gyarados 3 would click Thunder no matter what because it sees a kill with Thunder. I feel like my play is to go Pile of Swine to Scout, right? Birdkeeper Toby. Yeah, that's a YouTuber, right? I, th I have to go Pilo, right? Oh, actually, hold on a second. Do I actually go into Victory Bell? If it's Gyarados 4 and it's Victory Bell, right? They will Dragon Dance, meaning that they will be faster and strong. But they won't click Return, I don't think. I think they would click Earthquake because of the Power 1 mechanic. So, they would click Earthquake on me. I can Encore them. Poi po Boy, welcome to the Berg! Glad to see you in. You've been super active in my Discord. Everybody welcome Poi po Boy. Definitely carrying some activity in my Discord. They're always posting about Pokemon stuff. They're personal frontier journey great stuff love to see it what i don't love to see is this gyarados oh so nil bustos the reason that on the sheet it says it doesn't have an item is because i wasn't expecting to get two leftovers so in that scenario where i didn't get two leftovers like um so you find items in a pyramid i didn't bring these items so i was expecting my teams to be choice band plus leftovers plus something random like bright powder quick claw focus band and i was just gonna slot that on my last pokemon but i got very lucky and i got a lot of leftovers so i can now use double leftovers um so that sounds crazy, Shome. Yeah, I got lucky. I got lucky. Um, man, I feel like I still go Pylo, right, though? I feel like I want to go Pylo. I feel like I want to go Pylo. Ah, but man, maybe my play is to go Victory Bell and click Encore. Maybe my play is to go Victory what my problem with going Victory Bell is that if it's Gyarados 2 and they click Thunderbolt, what's my play? I mean, okay, I guess my play if it's Victory Bell and I go Thunderbolt is that I would have to... I would have to Hyper Potion my Pylo Swine, because I live a Hydro Pump, definitely, right? Yes. I would have to Hyper Potion my Pylo Swine... So I would go Victory Bell, it would take a Thunderbolt, and then it would die to Fire Blast or Blizzard. But on that turn, I heal up my Piloswine. Then Victory Bell dies, Piloswine is in at full health. I would Icy Wind the Gyarados, bringing it to minus one, and then I would also Hyper Potion my Gyarados. Piloswine dies, and then Gyarados, bam, bam. Okay, so let's go to the flip side of this, right? Let's say... Okay, so, but I can also go Pile of Swine on Gyarados 2 right now because they're going to click Thunderbolt. So, if they click Thunderbolt into the Pilo, right, then I know it's Gyarados 2 and I know that they're gonna Hydro Pump. Oh, wait, what if they fucking Fire Blast? No, they can't because I'll get lefties and they won't see the kill. Okay, so then I go Victory Bell into the Hydro Pump. I use that to Hyper Potion, and then, and then it's just the same scenario. So, versus... Gyarados 2, it doesn't matter who I go. Um, it, it, it really doesn't matter who I go. Um, so, it's more so now, what is my best play into Gyarados 1 and Gyarados 4, which are the problematic Dragon Dance ones? Oh! You got it, Poiple Boy, sure. 12 bucks. Skarmory Halberd. It is 15. It is supposed to be 15, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Poi Pole. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Who cares? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get on someone's ass about three bucks. Alright, let's see. So we got Where does Skarm show up? Skarm shows up later. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to find 
Albert Heavy Lobster. And then Plusel is Meta Knight. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the donations. Okay, you guys, so... Let, let's look at the problematic Gyarados 4 again. I think I want to Icy Wind its ass, right? It's going to Dragon Dance here. Does Piloswine die to a plus one Earthquake? I don't think I do. No, I don't. But I need to Icy Wind it so that I can... Ah! Yeah, and then I, it would that would also require me sacrificing both Pokemon. Because I don't like... Do I like Victory Bell? into Gyarados 4? What happens if I go Victory Bell into Gyarados 4? They're at plus one, plus one. I'm at full health. I would... Yeah, no, you know what? Victory Bell has more upside into Gyarados 4, right? Because Gyarados 4 could Dragon Dance. I would Encore, and if Gyarados clicks Earthquake, then on that Encore Earthquake, I can go into Gyarados, and I'm saving my Victory Bell. If they Dragon Dance, I also save health on my Victory Bell, and then I simply go back into Gyarados, and I HP flying twice. Oh, I'm nervous about Encore ending, though, man. I'm really nervous about Encore ending. What is Encore's length again? Yeah, 2 to 6. Well, I'm slower... So if they dra if they dragon dance again, so if they dragon dance and I encore it, I swap to Gyarados. They're DDing again. If they if they break out of encore, don't I automatically lose the game? Like, I think I would automatically lose the game, right? Or I I have to like intim cycle them. Oh, that's really scary. Oh yeah, Pokemon Clover was super fun. No, there's a wrong answer here, man. If Gyarados gets to like plus three, I, I lose. Well, they're also- ooh, wait, wait, they're also intimidated right now. I forgot about that. They are also intimidated right now. I totally forgot about that. Hold on a second. Yeah, the wording on- um, the wording on- the actual game is weird. I know there's something fucked up with it. Wait a second. Okay, let's see. DD, DD. They're at plus... So they would get to plus two at most by the time Gyarados comes in. Because they go... I go into Victor Bell. They're neutral. They DD again. They're at plus one. I Encore. I swap to Victor Bell. They DD again. They're at plus two. And I just need to hit two HP flyings. So if they're at plus two, then they get to plus three. They don't... Oh, I would need to heal my Gyarados to play that safe. Ah, oh, man, man, man. Hold on. Okay. What happens if they break out of Encore? Then they'll see a kill with Return. If they get to plus three, do they see a kill on Piloswine? Then I'd probably have to max revive my Gyarados. Okay, yeah, then I'd, then I'd have to go into Piloswine as a positional sacrifice. And then I'd have to max revive my Gyarados, which I really don't want to be using max revives like that. But that's what I'd have to do, right? I'd have to do that, so... Okay. Are you guys following me? Am I making sense? I think this is exactly why I have to go Victory Bell right now. This is exactly why I go victory belt. Whew. All right. Ooh, another intimidate. You're right. You're right. You're right, actually. You're right. You're right. Never mind. No, I'm safe, actually. So my victory bell makes a lot of sense. My victory bell play makes a lot of sense. So. Yes, let, let's go victory bell. Let's go victory bell. Let's do this. All right, come on. All right, let's do this. Here they click. Ah, it's Gyarados 3. Okay, this is interesting. It's Gyarados 3. Don't pair up, please, 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 please. Nice. Okay. So I actually can 1v1 this pretty easily. I'm faster than Gyarados 3. 
This is Quick Claw Gyarados. Um, so they do see the most damage with Earthquake, right? Oh wait, I can stall this, can't I? I can go into Gyarados again. On the I can go into Gyarados on the Earthquake again, actually, right? Oh, I kind of like that, right? Because I can intimidate them again. So right now their their Earthquake is doing 33 to 39. I could go back into Gyarados and then back into Victory Bell again. I think that's a good play, right? I, I think that's a good play. How much does Rain Surf do to Victory Bell? Oh, that does more than I'd like, actually. Hold on a second. That's actually stupid in that's... Huh. Oh, I could Encore them right now. Oh, wait, 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 no, dude. I just Encore them right now. I don't even need to switch. I just Encore. What's up, David Banks? Thank you for the donation. I just Encore their ass right now into Thunder, right? Yeah, that makes the most sense. And then I Toxic their ass. Let's go. I have never used Encore in game like that. That just seems so, that's like so sick to me. It's toxic. I missed, that's fine. Quick Claw Thunder. I gotta watch out for the Encore text box if it ends. Okay, no, we're gonna, so now on this, um, do I go to Piloswine now? Oh wait, I gotta get rid of rain, hold on. Do I wait for Thunder to run out? I think I wait for Thunder to run out and then I can go into Piloswine. I can Encore it again, go into Piloswine, and I can heal Piloswine a bit there, which is pretty sick. Um, because I want Piloswine to be healthier. So here, I'll just, um... I'll simply Toxic again. I think my other PP is useful. I'll simply just Toxic again. Thunder Mist. Let's see if the Encore ends. Nope. Long Encore. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was bound to happen. That's actually frustrating. Is Encore about to end? Wow! Max Encore. Okay. So I'm going to Synthesis. Now it's going to end. Oh, that's actually really annoying. Um... I don't like how much damage that's doing to Victory Bell. I, I guess I do just simply go Gyarados now, right? Oh, I hate that I'm paralyzed. Do I have Cherry Berries? I don't. Shoot, man. No, I, I guess I have 21 Lum Berries. I would use it on my Victory Bell, but here I just, I simply go into, uh, um, I go into, uh, on the Earthquake, I go into Gyarados. Nice. And now they'll thunder again, and here I can just go into, um, Pylos line. Take no damage on Victory Bell. Nice. Let's go. That was sick. Okay. I don't want to beat them all. Don't look up, right? You don't look up, I don't think. Alright, floor four. That was a good battle. That was really interesting. I'm really- it's so cool to, like, utilize- this is a very fun and unique team with a lot of different dynamics, right? I mean, like, I just feel like the Icy Wind shenanigans with Piloswine and then the Encore Toxic shenanigans with Victory Bell make this really interesting. What's funny is as I was building this team, I originally had Vile Plume over Victory Bell, but I realized I was like, I actually really need Encore for specific stuff. Yeah, I healed Para. I did heal Para. I had to. I mean, I have so many Lumberries that I can be lax with them and also the speed on victory bell is actually really important as you can tell i have 240 speed on victory bell that is for a reason that is for a very big reason that i forgot <laughs> but like it, it i hit a certain speed tier that's really important so that i can encore stuff um um yes pokemon have been named but you can check out which ones haven't been named by going to exclamation point nicknames five dollars to nickname a pokemon and you directly support me no is it a double Oh my gosh, okay. I really don't want to get those random double, those 
random double battles. This is bad. Hex Maniac, please don't be Gengar. Okay, I'm I think I just Earthquake, right? I don't even think I need to think. They never kill me with anything. I just Earthquake. It's not Clear Body as well. There's no reason to not Earthquake. I don't see any reason to not just click the move Earthquake. Let's just click Earthquake. I don't even need to think that much. Yep. Dead? Beautiful. No, dude. Tell me where the... Tell me where the... The exit is. Okay. X attack. Am I going to be using these X attacks? I don't really know. Ooh, trainer. Is this a double battle? Oh, it's a little gauntlet. Okay, so I can actually get past that gauntlet. Yeah, okay. So that I know how to get past that gauntlet now. I can just go down here. So let's find some items. Let's use this opportunity to find items. We're going to item fish on this floor now. This is pretty big for us. Probably going to have to ether that HP flying. Am I scared of that? No, I think I'm fine. You could, you guys could see that e you having to use ethers for my attacking moves like that is really scary. What's the PP on my next attacker? Oh, uh, I might need that. And that's actually kind of scary. Do I want to not go for items to save my? E I don't. I think at this point I'm not saving my ether though, right? Like I have, I have to use HP flying for everything. So I'm just gonna keep going for items. I think this is a fine decision by me. Like I'm I'm not I'm not misplaying with this, I don't think. Hyper potion? Beautiful. That's that's what we want. We want those hyper potions. Lumberry? Sure, I'll take that. I don't want to randomly run into that gauntlet. So I'm kind of, Okay. So yeah, let's get out of that gauntlet. Let's just get to the end. I think I'm fine with the items I got. All right. We're on floor five. We, Yeah, maybe we could get out of this without having to use... It's on floor name is Flower. <laughs> Thank you, David Banks. All right, you guys. We have the nicknames for that team, which is pretty funny. We have Tree, Bird, and Flower. This is very intense. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ludi Colo coming up also doesn't have a nickname. If you guys want to have a nickname that will guaranteed be on stream today, um, one of them is the Ludi Colo name. There really are three different kinds of nicknames. I'm with you, Lanky. No way, is this a double? Ah. <gasps> This was a double trap. So if I went up or down, I would have ran into a double battle. That's what this is. If I went up or down, it was a double battle, and I just had to guess which one was better. Oh, man. Okay. Um, that's pretty scary, actually. Uh, I mean, I have an Earthquake Pyloswine next to an Intimidate Gyarados, so surely I'm fine, but it is still scary. Let's see what we got. So, Theo and Josie. No fucking way. Josie is Whale Lord. Theo is Starmie. Josie is Whale Lord. Josie is Whale Lord. What the fuck? Wait, what? Josie's Whale Lord. This sheet doesn't tell me that Josie has a whale lord. What in the world? That's weird. Hold on, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Josie's whale lord. Okay, this is last Josie with a whale lord. Whale lord. Okay, well, either way, and then what is this, Theo? This is like Fisherman Theo. 
Starmie 1, Starmie 2. Don't tell me you can have any Starmie. Oh, it's unease. So I think this is Whale Lord 4. This is Whale Lord 4, and then this is any Starmie. This is really bad. Um, this, this is, like, very bad. Um, dude, this is really bad. I might lose here, man. Um, hmm. Holy crap, man. Um, okay. Woo. We gotta really, we gotta really lock in on this. Uh, should I have played more defensive and double hyper potion before the chance of a double battle? Maybe, I guess I, I could have double hyper potioned. Because now I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to work like crazy to figure out how to beat this. This is a terrible lead for me. Protect is nice though. Protect will stall out a turn from Whale Lord. Whale Lord here is almost guaranteed. I don't wait. I I still am confused. This was last Josie, right? Was this J O S I E Josie? Just to be sure. Guys, I am mega confused because Josie doesn't seem to have a Whale Lord. Okay, last Josie does not have a Whale Lord. What am I missing? Like, like on my sheet, it says that Josie does not have a Whale Lord. Yeah, it was Josie. Because Josie doesn't have a Starmie. Wow. Okay, I think I think this is I think this is Whale Lord 4 though. Let's assume it's Whale Lord 4. Whale Lord 4 doesn't actually threaten that much damage. Dude, that's crazy cuz Yeah, dude, I'm looking at the sheet right now. Like I'll show you guys the sheet. I'm looking at the sheet. Hold on. This is the fancy sheet. You guys can't see it, but there is J O S I E. There's a single last Josie, right? This is the last Josie. I don't see a single Whale Lord on this on this line. I don't see it. I don't know, man. Kind of bizarre. Because every lass only has set four Pokemon, it seems, anyway, right? That That's kind of what I'm putting together. See, yeah, lasses are predictable. Lasses have... This is Whale Lord 4. This is, this is Whale Lord 4. Yeah, this is also one of eight Starmie sets. One of eight Starmie sets. But if we know this is Whale Lord 4, I am not scared of Whale Lord 4, like, at all, man. I am really not. Problem is that my pile of swine is built defensively. It's I, I, Do I Icy Wind? You know what? I don't think any Starmie can kill my pile of swine. Because they all have Surf except Starmie 2. Starmie 2 is probably... Let me switch this to doubles. Hold on. Look at this. There are no Starmies that kill Pile of Swine in doubles. It, the only Starmie that kills me is Starmie 2. That's the only Starmie that kills me because it's the only Starmie with Hydro Pump. And... Oh, but Pile of Swine is slower than Whale Lord, right? Fuck. Ah. Oh, no. All right, so a double surf would kill. Um, that's pretty bad. A double surf would kill. 
However, there are a lot of Starmies that might not even surf. Like, okay. So I'm definitely Icy Winding with, um, I have to Icy Wind with Piloswine. I have to Icy Wind with Piloswine. That is, that is a mandatory play here. Um, we don't know if Starmie has Thunderbolt. So there are, there are, um, Starmie 3 has Thunderbolt, Starmie 4 has Thunderbolt, um, and then Starmie, not Starmie 5, not Starmie 6, if I recall. Um, Starmie 7 has Thunderbolt. No, no, Starmie 8. It's Starmie 3, 4, and 8 have Thunderbolt, right? And, yes, they would, they would see the kill on Gyarados and target it, yes. Like, if Starmie has Thunderbolt, which is why my intuition right now is, my intuition is going into Victory Bell on Gyarados. That's what my intuition says, but I'm just not sure. I think I have to sacrifice Gyarados, though. Because I think I want to Encore the Victory Bell. Wait, wait, actually, question. If I Encore Starmie into, like, Thunderbolt, when a, when a Pokemon is Encored, does, is it randomly targeting in doubles? Thanks, Cridley. Is it... Wait, wait, when you Encore someone into a move, is it random targeting? Like, if I was Encored into a move, is it random targeting? Because I know that when you are Encored and you click Fight, you don't get to select a move, you just fight. It's not like you- it's not like when you have a choice band, and you try to select something else, and then it's like, you are choice locked. Oh man, what a toughie. I feel pretty happy with my idea of keeping Piloswine in. I don't think Piloswine has time to protect. Because the other thing, too, is that let's assume it's Wailord 4, right? Wailord 4 is going to Ice Beam into the Gyarados slot. They will Ice Beam into that slot. So what's hilarious is that if it's Starmie with Thunderbolt and Gyarados with when Wailord with Ice Beam, could they get a double kill right now? I bet they kill Victory Bell. Oh, yeah, they get a double kill right now if I don't swap into Victory Bell. Fucking hell, man. But also, what if Starmie just Psychics it? Oh my god, dude. And then... Wow, that's like so incredibly terrible. My Gyarados is not built to live, man. My Gyarados is not built to live that Thunderbolt either. So I can't even like... Oh damn, you know what the play might be then? Okay, if I'm scared of Piloswine being on the field by itself... You know what I might do? I might have to Hyper Potion Victory Bell in the back. I might have to Hyper Potion Victory Bell in the back. On my Gyarados turn, I might Hyper Potion Victory Bell in the back because... Thanks, Stover. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't think I swap into Flytrap now. Because the other thing that I don't like about swapping into Flytrap is that... What if Wailord gets a 20% Quick Claw, right? If Wailord gets the 20% Quick Claw on the swap into Flytrap, they get the Ice Beam off, and then Starmie kills Gyarados with Thunderbolt. Another thing is that Starmie could simply Psychic the Gyarados slot right now. If it is, if it is Starmie, um... Well, Starmie 7 would Cosmic Power, definitely. But, you know... Starmie 5 could Psychic into Gyarados. Well, Intimidate literally does nothing here. I Intimidate does absolutely nothing. I don't care about Waylord's Earthquake. Waylord's Earthquake is irrelevant here because it never clicks Earthquake with Starmie on the field. So I'm not Intimidate really isn't is really is irrelevant. Um I need to Icy Wind. I need that Icy Wind to get off. Ah, man. Okay, so do I Hyper Beam with... So Gyarados' Hyper Beam is what is killing Starmie. 
just to be clear, that is what is killing Starmie. That is ex that is precisely why I have Gyarados with with uh, um, Hyper Beam. Is because like let's say it's like Starmie four, I kill Starmie, and even Starmie one can likely drop. And I'll even tell you this: it does drop after an oh, but doubles Icy Wind is different, right? Yeah, doubles Icy Wind is different. I, doubles Icy Wind is definitely not. If it was singles, I did guarantee do enough. I calc that. Eight special attack, pile of swine, Icy Wind into max HP, Starmie, plus Hyper Beam kills. But because it's doubles, I'm not guaranteed the kill like I was before. Okay, let's pause. Let's, I mean, let, let's really. I feel like we're starting to get to the right play, you guys. You know what I mean? I feel like we are slowly getting to the right play, but this is tough stuff, man. I feel like I stay in with Gyarados. Okay, let's let's go over what what is wrong. What could go wrong with me staying in with Gyarados, right? What could go wrong if I? Ah, uh, man. I I'll let you guys also interact. I'm gonna start a poll with you guys. Because I think you guys, I, I'm not going for a world record. We can interact with each other. This is the poll. Am I gonna stay in with Gyarados or do I swap to Victory Bell? I feel like I want to stay in with Gyarados, but I'm trying to think what is the worst thing that happens with staying in with Gyarados? Because Starmie just clicks Thunderbolt like that. Bam. Okay, let's say I, 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 because if I stay in with Gyarados, I'm not going to attack. Ah, uh, but do I attack? It, it, do I, do I attack? Dude, I'm just, ner I'm so nervous that, I mean, I can't do anything about Hydro Pump Starmie. Uh, how much does Gyarados do to Whale Lord? That's an interesting... How much does Banned Hyper Beam do to Whale Lord? Because another weird play could be Earthquake plus Hyper Beam. That, that is an interesting play. Ah, uh, there's no way Pylo does 30, right? No way Pylo does 30. Oh, wait, that's interesting. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. I could... I could Earthquake and Hyper Beam the Whale Lord right now. Oh, that's actually really interesting. But then again, three out of eight Starmies are going to Thunderbolt me. And a fourth Starmie, which is specifically Starmie 2, has a 50% chance to target me. Because Starmie 2 sees the Hydro Pump kill. Wait, actually, am I faster than that? No. Starmie 2 sees the pump kill on Pylo, but they also see the thunder kill on Gyarados. So, that seems unnecessarily risky, right? Because also, if Starmie Thunderbolts my Gyarados, then I'm earthquaking my Victory Bell, and I could literally just lose the game. So I think that's, I think that's not a good idea. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you're right. And that's the other thing too, Lanky. Whalelord is not posing that much of a threat. I've got to get rid of that Starmie, which means I have to Icy Wind it. Okay, so you know what? There, There is an argument for a play that I could make right now. You know what I could do right now? Instead of healing the Victory Bell in the back, I could Hyper Potion my Piloswine with Gyarados and then click Icy Wind. That gets me a guaranteed Icy Wind. Yeah, exactly what Jamie said. I could I could heal my Piloswine instead and to get that Icy Wind off. Again though, Jamie, here's the here's in a way the problem with that play though, right? No, you know what? I can't do that. I still can't do that. I can't do that. Because the reason that I can't do that. Also, there's a poll if you guys didn't see. For mobile users, there is a poll if you guys wanted to vote. Um Here's the problem with that though. So if I heal my Gar my Piloswine and click Icy Wind, I can still get Thunderbolted Gyarados or Thundered, 
and then my victory bell could get ice beamed and then i loot then it is pile swine by herself on the field right the problem with that is i then it is singles and likely i get double targeted and i lose to surf surf in a singles battle then i then lose easily to surf plus surf from both of these guys and then i would have to like max revive my gyarados just to hit Starmie with Hyper Beam, and then, yeah, I, I don't, I would have to use a Max Revive and a Revive in that scenario, and I don't want to do that, right? I don't want to be using a Revive and my Max Revive. I, I don't think I want to do that. So I feel like I do want to do the, I do want to do the heal Victory Bell. I want to stay in with Gyarados and heal Victory Bell. So if I... If I heal Victory Bell, and let's say, you know, Gyarados dies, Victory Bell will then come in, and it will live any hit from the Werelord. Like, I will I will live that Ice Beam. And now Victory Bell will be a huge target the next turn. Victory Bell will be an immense target. But, I'm faster than both of them because of Icy Wind. And I can Encore something, I can Giga Drain something if I want to, like, I can, I can do that. But no, on my Victory Bell turn, I would be what? I would be, I would be reviving Gyarados. I would be reviving Gyarados so that I can Choice Band Hyper Beam the Starmie. That's exactly what I would be doing. And I'd protect with Piloswine. So I would... Victory Bell would be at low health. Piloswine would also be at low health. I would revive Gyarados with Victory Bell and protect with Piloswine. I mean... I could... I could... Oh, wait a second. What's the problem with that? No, nothing. There's not a problem with that. Yeah. Okay, I I mean, obviously, my, my team is really banged up, and I'm going to have to use resources here. I don't think I'm swapping. What do you guys... No, Gyarados does not live a Thunderbolt ever. So, my Gyarados spread... Oh, I actually did originally have a set that was careful so that I could live a Thunderbolt from Starmie. That was an original set that I had. But I realized that, like, in singles, my team can handle Starmie fine. Because in this scenario, in singles, if it was versus Starmie, I go straight into Pylo... Well, first, I'd probably have to sacrifice Gyarados. Fully heal Piloswine. Piloswine is EV to live any hit from Starmie. Icy Wind to Starmie, and then I could go into Victory Bell and double Giga. But, um... Yeah, 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 man. No, you're right, you're right, you're right, Curdly. Using the Max Revive here wouldn't be the worst thing. I think I think my victory bell play is best. I I see the outs of I see the wave of my victory bell play. As in, um, like staying in and using a hyper potion on my victory bell, which would fully heal it. Yeah, I feel like that's the play, man. I feel like that's the play. I don't like sacking Victory Bell. I think I think that's not a good play. I don't like it. I don't. <sighs> Fuck. Is it the right play though? Ah, uh, you know what's interesting? No, dude. Okay, but also, Piloswine could still get double surfed here. I I could still I could still get double surfed here. Could I do anything about double surf? Can I still do anything about Double Surf? Waylord does not have Levitate, no. Man, dude, I don't know if I could do anything about Double Surf. I don't know if I can. Wow, you guys are really 50-50 on this. Yeah, Eric, I am thinking about Protect, but I also... No, you're right, Critterly, I know. It's all. It's still just about maximizing, though. Like I'm 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 going to have to use a revive and a hyper potion at minimum after this battle. Like I have to use my resources like that.
Another idea, do I ever double potion here? Does that make sense? Do I ever double potion here, or is that ridiculous? Or potion plus protect is an interesting idea. No, I don't. I, I have to heal my victory bell, I think. I think I have to heal my victory bell. Critterly, what are you suggesting, then? Yeah, I know. It, and it's interesting. I'm still... I feel like the I, use, thinking about how I can use items in my run is still new to me, because it's, it's such a thing that is so frowned upon in most competitive Pokemon things is using items. You know what I mean? It's like using items in Super Smash Brothers. It's like, it's like you're not used to it, but there is a meta with items. Get paralyzed. Man, I am- I'm starting to think about the whole, like, uh... I think I gotta heal Victory Bell and Icy Wind, but dude, Double Surf is so terrible. Dude, if I get Double Surfed, I will have to max revive my Piloswine, right? Like, let's just- let's go over the scenario where I get Double Surfed, right? Because Piloswine will die to both Surfs. Even in doubles, I will die to double surf. Like, I'll easily die to double surf. And I'm slower than the Whale Lord. I can't... Ugh. But I don't... I don't... There's never a world where I can do anything about double surf. Unless I decide to potion my Piloswine and potion my Victory Bell. But I feel like that doesn't make... And also, the other thing, too, that's interesting is that Starmie will never surf here if they have Thunderbolt. The only Starmie that'll ever think about surfing here is Starmie 6, but also Starmie 6 is very incentivized to Confuse Ray something as well. They could totally just Confuse Ray something. And, uh, you know, Starmie 8 will Thunderbolt. They'll never, they will never surf here. So I actually don't think they're ever gonna surf. Yeah, Starmie 3 will also, th yeah, they're, I'm not, a, I should not be afraid of double surf. Why am I afraid of Double Surf? I, I, I actually think that me being afraid of Double Surf is not... It's just not correct. The only Starmie that will surf me is Starmie 6. And Starmie 6 could simply choose to Confuse Ray the Gyarados. Confuse Ray the... Oh, that's fine. And Starmie 6 can also T-Wave the Gyarados. So, yeah. I think, I think I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay in and potion my Victor Bell and I'm gonna Icy Wind. And we're gonna learn from there. We're gonna we're gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, come on. All right. Okay, that's fine. This is this is what we expected. So that's Thunderbolt Starmy. That's fine. This is exactly what we expected. We will get this icy wind off. Assuming Waylord doesn't fissure my Pylos Swine. What? It's Waylord 1? Or no, 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 it's Waylord... Oh, God. Wait. Oh, this is beautiful, actually. Hold on a second. It, it's not Waylord 4. It was Waylord 2. Bro, wh dude, what am I missing on this trainer sheet? This trainer sheet was not accurate, but whatever. Here we go. It's Waylord 2, I guess. Okay, so that's pretty big. Because that means I can encore the Waylord with... Uh, Victory Bell. Um, we have no clue what Starmie that was. We know that it's not Starmie um, 8. As they would have gotten left... Well, no, I mean, Starmie 8. Does Starmie 8 have lefties or Bright Powder? Yeah. So, we know it's a T-Bolt... <laughs> we know it's a Thunderbolt Starmie. Um... I don't collect the Pokemon P TCG wise wheel, but I do think TCG is interesting ish. I think competitive TCG has really dropped off in interest for me. I don't know. It just seems to be really boring right now, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I am pretty out of the loop on a ton of it. Okay. So, this is Whale Lord 2. Am I afraid of Whale Lord 2? Not really. I can, I can literally encore it into. 
Amnesia right now, which I feel like might actually be my play. What I'm thinking about is encoring the Wailord into Amnesia and then going into Gyarados to Hyper Beam the Starmie. Like, I encore Wailord, swap Pylo into Gyarados, and then I Giga Drain, Hidden Power Flying the Starmie and take it out. I think that's my play. I, I, what, what could go wrong there? Yeah, I think I Encore, because Victory Bell is faster than Starmie right now. Victory Bell is faster than Starmie. Would die to Psychic, though. I guess that's a little bit problematic. It's not the most problematic, because... No, that actually is really problematic. Um, shoot, man. Um... Oh, that's actually really bad, because my, my Gyarados is dead. Why well, I, ha I have to revive Gyarados. Yeah, why I can't even swap it. I have to revive Gyarados somehow. So, with my Pylo turn, I think I revive Gyarados, right? I think with my Pylo turn, I revive Gyarados. But, I could also Encore the Starmie. Actually, wait a second. Why don't I just Encore the Starmie? That's more interesting. Wait, yeah, why don't I just Encore the Starmie? Wait a second. I'm faster than Starmie. I can Encore it, and that, that would be huge. Never mind. Wait a second. It's at minus one. I'm faster. I Encore this shit. Yes, I Encore the Starmie. No, only three of them have Thunderbolt. I Encore Starmie, and I win the game. Yeah, never mind. Hold on. So if I Encore Starmie, what's my play with Pylo? I think I then go into Gyarados. No, no, no. Then it could Thunderbolt me. Oh, shoot. Wait a second. No, no, no. If I Encore Starmie... Whoa, holy shit. If I Encore Starmie... Oh, that's interesting, right? Because then Gyarados could get randomly targeted. If I Encore Starmie into Thunderbolt and try to go into Gyarados, it gets randomly targeted. Fuck. Hold on a second, you guys. This is interesting now. But I also think it's worse to lose my victory belt. Uh, you know what? I, I could kill Starmie with Earthquake plus Giga Drain. Swine is not faster after an Icy Wind, but I can Encore Starmie. Oh, that's really interesting. Because Pylo, Pylo also finishes it off with a 20 hit, right? Yeah. Fuck. Huh. I kind of want to Encore the Starmie. And then with Pylo Swine, If I Encore Starmie... So I want to Encore Starmie and Encore Wailord. Which means that I don't have time to Giga Drain the Starmie yet. But I also don't think that's the end of the world. The question is, as I Encore Starmie, what am I doing with my Swine? Uh, Drain, Drain doesn't kill, but it does enough for Earthquake to kill. Oh, I wonder if uh, Pile of Swine Ice Beam could pick it off. Oh, Ice Beam could totally pick it off right now. Huh. Huh. That's actually really interesting. I could, um... I could Encore the Starmie, Ice Beam the Starmie. Encore the Whale Lord. Yeah, Encore Starmie, Ice Beam Starmie, 
Encore Wailord, Protect Piloswine, Giga Drain the Starmie. Giga Drain the Starmie, Ice Beam the Wailord, Toxic the Wailord, Ice Beam the Wailord. And then if Encore runs out on Wailord, Encore the Wailord. I have to, I have to, I can't let Starmie kill Victory though. Yeah, what's up, Wildcat? So I have to Encore the, I, I'm going to Encore this and then I'm going to Ice Beam it. Nice. Okay. So they, okay, that's fine. Oh, that, and see, this is fine. Okay. Oh, I gotta... I, I gotta toxic that now. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so now that that is encored... Now I will encore the Whale Lord into Curse. And then with this guy, it doesn't really matter what I do here. Because Starmie literally can't damage the Pile of Swine. So I guess it's more so like... I just Ice Beam the Whale Lord? I don't want to Earthquake and kill my own Victory Bell on a crit. I could also, I could also waste, I could also save protects on Piloswine by using X attacks on my Piloswine, which means that I'm not using PP on its moves. But does that, do I care about it that much? There could be a battle where I need all those protects. Is there going to be a battle where I need the X attack? Maybe, maybe there is a battle where I need the X attack on Gyarados, huh? You never know. Maybe there is a battle where I need X attack. On maybe something that is, like, double teamed up or, like... Yeah, do I revive now? Does it really matter if I revive now? Like, obviously, I'm encoring Wailord into Curse. And then I'm gonna Toxic it. I mean, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, true, Cridley. Yeah, you know, you're right. It, it does technically save PP that way. Yeah, I like that. Let's do this. Big Encore. Thunderbolt again. Yep. Big Curse. Okay, nice. Now let's Toxic. That. And with Gonbate. Um... Maybe I Icy Wind Starmie in case there's a scenario where Piloswine needs the outspeed. I kind of like that. Maybe there is a scenario where Piloswine needs the outpace. And I think at minus two, I do outpace it. Oh, no, I don't. It would have to be minus three. Um, like, I have the Toxic... I don't actually have the Toxic Wailord yet. Let's just kill the Starmie first. Actually, yeah, I don't need the Toxic Wailord yet. That's not something that I need to do yet. Let's do that. Let's Giga Drain this and Ice Beam this. Okay, killed. That's nice. Good. Is that bad? Wait, how does that work with Encore? Wait, 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 wait. Was that bad? Wait a second. Oh, no. Wait, I thought about that after I made that click. Is that bad? How bad is that? I, I, I knew, I was thinking I shouldn't click Ice Beam, I should click Icy Wind. Um... Wait, how does that work with Encore? I didn't even think about that. Thank you, Maximum. Wait, how, how does Encore work with Freeze? I actually have no clue. Um... Ah, dude. Wait, okay, well, it's at... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I, I have no clue how this functions, honestly. Whaler 2 is at plus 2 spadap. Plus 1 attack, plus 1 defense. Yeah, right, it should remain after defrost.
So I gotta keep, I gotta keep the victory bell in. Am I giga draining? Am I, does it really matter what I click? I'll just toxic it, I guess, and then I go into pile. Maybe I'll X attack here. I already did revive. No, I need to get a Toxic off and an Encore. So I need I need Victory Bell to stay uh, alive. No, I'm not critting my own Victory Bell. No, I'm not critting my own Victory Bell. I, I mean, maybe crit doesn't even kill my own Victory Bell. No, it definitely does. Yeah, let's not crit my own Victory Bell. Let's not do that. I'm good. What's up, Wildcat? Oh, Adam! Genius idea. Maybe I flamethrower it right now. <gasps> oh, that's so sick. That's a great idea, Adam. Holy crap. No, no, no. Bro, 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 bro. I definitely flamethrower its ass right now. No, dude. Adam, that's genius. Yeah, I definitely flamethrower it. You're right. That's exactly the play. To purposely thaw it so that I can toxic it. Yes. That's amazing. And to save PP, I am going to X attack my victory bell. Just in case I need this PP, I'm going to X attack it. Frozen. Oh no. Yeah, wow, Encore does end while you are frozen. Wow. So that's, that's huge. So also, nice is that I'm slower than my Gyarados, so I can Banded Flamethrower into Toxic. That is so sick. Oh, do I Encore? Wait, can I Encore it while it's frozen? Wait a second. Right? <gasps> no. Yes. Do I, can I Encore it while it's frozen? Uh, it's at plus two special defense, Patty. It's at plus two special defense right now. So... Right? Wouldn't I be able to? Yeah, dude, it's that plus two special defense. Giga Drain is gonna do absolutely nothing to this Wailord. Absolutely nothing to this Wailord. 24 to 29. I should be able to Encore it, right? I just don't want to waste Encore PP like that, though. I have to... I mean, I have to try and Encore it. No! <gasps> Fuck! Oh my gosh, dude. That's so- that's actually incredibly bad. Um... Wow, okay, hold on a second. That's bad. Okay, everybody. So, wow, man, I should not have ice beamed it. That really meant a lot. So I got to toxic it, but I want it to want to curse again. Do I toxic it and then encore it? So do what I do I like swap into Piloswine? Do I swap into- Dude, that's so bad. Do I- Do I- Toxic it right now. Swap into Piloswine to eat the double edge. Right? Because I will- Piloswine will- They will double edge the Gyarados right now. I eat the double edge. Ah, but then it's gonna rest. It's gonna rest then, right? No, it, unless I encore the double edge. Which is kind of what I'd want to do as I go back into Gyarados. Yeah, Cridley, the thing is, sometimes it's not just a couple trainers left when they also ambush me like a double battle like this. I think I'm gonna Toxic and then Encore. They're gonna double edge into the Pylo. Yep. Does nothing. 
Okay, I'm gonna encore them now. And how much does my victory bell take? I might just protect here. Yeah, it doesn't really do that much. I can synthesis that off. Let's encore and then I'll protect. Oh, they got my ass. That's fine. See, now I just synthesis. Um... Okay, well, I, I definitely synthesis. Um... I'm not earthquaking. I don't want to go into Gyarados and have to use a revive. I would much rather use a hyper potion on my Gyarados. So, yeah, I would much rather use a hyper potion on my Gyarados. So I gotta stay in. So I think I just protect again. I don't even think I ice beam. I think I sit this this and I think... Do I ice beam? I, I don't think it... I literally don't think it means anything to ice beam, right? What, I'm doing four to five, man? No way that means anything. Surely that does not mean anything for me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I don't think it does. I think I gotta protect again. Failed, that's fine. Ah, they wanted to pilo too. Pretty funny. Okay. So now I should I should win. I, I'm fine. Um I mean I could go for the I could go for a Giga Drain kill right now. Giga Drain actually should kill. Um in which case, I can then also use a Hyper Potion on my Gyarados right now. Yeah, let's Giga Drain it, right? It should kill. Um, well, I don't have Double Protect. Oh, yeah. What's up, Goomer? I think I got to Giga Drain it. And then I don't- I still don't go Gera, but I think I heal Gera, so that Piloswine is not using PP. However, to save 1 PP on Piloswine, as opposed to saving damage on Piloswine, surely Protect is still the play here. So, in case Giga Drain doesn't get the kill. Which it does. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, none of them told me where the exit was? Whoopsie daisy. Okay, um... I mean, I've got a Hyper Potion. I have to Hyper Potion my Gyarados. Um... I mean, I think I got out of that pretty okay. I think I got out of that really okay. Um... Okay, whew! Now, could we get- I'm not going up. I know for a fact that that is a double battle. No, it's not. It's not critically. It doesn't have to be. Do I ever heal my Piloswine preemptively? I don't think I need to. Encore being this low is scary. I'm just gonna- I don't think I need to be preemptive right now. I think I'm fine. There's one more random trainer. They're fine. Focus, sure. Don't run because it could alert a trainer that wasn't looking in my direction. X attack doesn't really matter. Hyper potion, that does matter. Let's go. Exit's probably top right, is what I'm assuming. Oh, here it is. Okay, so that's the exit. I'm gonna use this- I'm gonna- Oh, maybe I could save an ether. 
Okay, I could save an ether here. I could. I could save an ether. I think I could... I can... Ugh. No, I already found two items. I don't think it's worth to look for the next item. Because I want to see if I can have my Gyarados not have to use an ether to heal up its HP flying for the fighting types. Because those ethers are really useful, actually, for my leads. Yeah, Jamie, so I thought about doing that level 60 thing, but I wanted more of a challenge. And I thought it would be more fun. Um, I thought it would be more fun to make it level 100. It just, it feels more intense. You know what I mean, Jamie? I, 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 it feels more genuine. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, so yes, hyper, because then hyper potions would basically be full restores. And I like that hyper potions aren't broken right now because I'm at level 100. If I was at level 60, hyper potions would be way too busted. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, this isn't like some official rule set. I just want to make this as fun and personally challenging as possible while also entertaining for you guys who are watching it. Um, yeah, let's get to the next floor. All right, floor six, here we go. Nothing down there. Intimidate is proving super useful for reducing wild encounters. They all like to focus. Okay, here we go. Fine. Oh, there is the exit. Okay. Item? Revive. Huge. So we can do a hit and run here. Find an, find a trainer and then run to the exit. Because we'll know where it is. I really want to find a trainer quick. I am going to run. Trainers, come on. Where are you? I don't want to use my ether. Ah. Ah. Uh, bro, where? Genuinely where? What? <gasps> Holy crap, that was close. Hold on. Oh, oh. Who do I want? Do I want Bird Keeper again, or is that a mistake? Who do I want? Um. So that was Cool Trainer or Dragon Tamer on the top. This is going to be a Lass. Or, yeah, a Lass on the... I think I want the Lass, right? The Lasses usually have predictable and bad Pokemon. I think... I think... Um, I think we go for the Lass. Right? I think we go for the last. Lead with Mammoth with Pyloswine? Ah, no. We don't know if it's a bird keeper or not. Fuck it, I'm going last. I I'm assuming it's a last. Maybe it isn't. Oh my god, it's a psychic. Oh no, I forgot that it could be a psychic. Mother of God, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That is immensely terrible. Who was this? Guys, I'm sorry, could someone find the trainer name of this person? It could tell us a lot. It's probably any Alakazam, but I hope it's guaranteed Alakazam 4. So, two of these Zams just see the kill with T-Punch right now. Um... Ah, uh, sorry, so Bug Museum, you literally can't bring Mew, Jirachi, and Celebi into the into the Battle Frontier. They do they are not allowed to be used. But if you want a nickname to Pokemon on the sheet for donating ten dollars, please. Thank you for the support, Bug Museum J. That's a really cool name. Do you actually have a Bug Museum? It's Carly. 
All right, so this is this is Carly. Let's see what they got. Alakazam one. Nope, it's any Alakazam. God damn it, man. Huh, they also could have brought legendary birds. That's funny. You know what's really scary is that Alakazam three could trick me here. They see the kill with Psychic. Yeah, they could trick me here, which would be interesting if they tripped. Thankfully, I do have backup leftovers, lol, um, which is very lucky by me that I have the backup leftovers. Um, Victory Bell is useless here, of course. Well, no, it is. Fuck, man, this is terrible. I mean, Gyarados just drops. How? What, what was my plan for Alakazam, actually? Fucking hell, man. I mean, okay, Alakazam 1, Alakazam 4 will click Thunder Punch. Alakazam 2, they'll click Calm Mind, which is frightening. Um, I mean, that would actually be really bad. Dude, I need a full health pile of swine right now. I think I... I need a full health pile of... So that I can Icy Wind it. I, I need a full health pile of swine. Because what does Gyarados do again? How much does it do with HP? I don't think it kills. I need that HP. I need that Icy Wind damage. Oh, oh, you know what? I got it. I got it. You know, I'll, I can... Wait, hey, let's see. Info, what's up, Durin? Durin Dalfi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trick persists. So I would guarantee lose my left... Oh, shoot. If they trick my lefties, then Icy Wind doesn't do anything, right? Oh, mother of God. Because Alakazam 1 will fire punch and do too much. Oh, actually, they won't. Hold on a second. I actually... No, I don't need... So I've got to, I've got to positionally sacrifice Victory Bell here. 259. Alakazam 4 doesn't see a kill with Psychic, right? No, they will Thunder Punch the Gyarados right now. Which means I could use Victory Bell as another electric pivot here. I could use Victory Bell just as a pivot so that it'll Psychic it, and I can heal up Piloswine just to Icy Wind it, and then go into Gyarados. Now, what if it's Trick Banned Alakazam? Does that mean anything for me? I don't think it means anything. So they trick my Gyarados, or they trick the Victory Bell, right? Um, they will Psychic the Victory Bell, and then... It still doesn't matter, right? Because then I still go into Piloswine to Icy Wind the Zam as they Psychic, Well, no, maybe there I would then be able to go into Gyarados and just go for the Hyper Beam kill if I really wanted to. Yeah, this is. I I'm not going Pylo. I have to go into Victory Bell as the positional play here. No, I don't. It's Rassel. But also, they are Trick Choice Band themselves. So if I did stay in on a trick, then I would I would get a choice band from Alakazam. So that doesn't actually matter. Um, I would keep the second choice band, but I'm not I don't have any strategies that utilize double choice band. So it doesn't actually matter to me that I would keep the choice band. Like I actually I actually don't care about that. So is my chat not working? By the way, I just realized this is my chat not working. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Is my chat box not working? What in the? Oh, it's working. Was it not working before? I guess it's working now. Oopsie daisy. Okay. I know some of you guys like seeing the chat and all that, so... Um... Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go victory belt. Yep, it's T-Punch, so that's either Zam 1 or Zam 4. Doesn't matter. I mean, Victory Bell is dying anyway, so if anything, this saves me a Lumberry. I'm perfectly fine with that. And I can't tell any damage because they both have the same spread. So I have to Hyper Potion my Pylo here. 
We will know what Zam it is, though, because um, I think Zam 4 won't ever fire punch the Victor Bell because it doesn't kill, right? Let's see. Or, or Ice Punch. Doesn't really... Oh, they could fire punch or Ice Punch. So we actually won't know what Zam it is, which is kind of annoying-ish. Because they all see it. Because Psychic, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch have a kill. But of course, if they click Psychic, we know it's not Alakazam 1, which is only Elemental. So, um, yeah. Okay, either way. Hyper Potion used. I gotta use it on Pylo. Oh, it's Zam 4. Alright, we know it's Zam 4. That's pretty funny that they clicked the 33% chance Psychic. Down goes Victory Belt. Sucks, but that's okay, because we got Pylo. Which will also be getting Lefty's Recovery, so that I can Icy Wind it. Pilot Swine is so clutch here, man. Pilot Swine is just insanely clutch here for us. Any other ground type would have been really terrible, but Pilot Swine is perfect with Gyarados, which I just think is so sick. However, oh, do I protect here? I should protect here, right? Yes, I should protect here. Just for um, certain crit rolls insurance. Yes, I do protect here, and they can't punish it. Yep. All right, let's Icy Wind. It's fine. Nice. Whew. All right, that's huge. All right. Nice. And now they are at minus one speed, which means I can then, after a Protect, I can pivot into Gyarados, and I can hit him with a Band HP Flying. And I will kill. Beautiful, you guys. This is exactly how cool this core is. This is such a sick core. It works so well for the pyramid in my challenge. I'm so happy about this. I can I can even click Earthquake, right? Wait, can I guaranteed click Earthquake instead to save pre-P? Icy Wind did 18. Gyarados does how much with Earthquake? Yes, I can guaranteed click Earthquake here. Um... Oh, uh, what if I get burned? Um, that's actually... I'm not sacrificing Pylo. If I don't have to, I'm not sacrificing Pylo, so... Oh, I got you, Bug. I got you, Bug. Hold on. Let me add that. I will add that right now. Mew, Jirachi, Celebi. Blossom, Buttles, Bubbles, Buttercup. Mew, Jirachi, Celebi. Mew. Rachi. You guys can see it happening on the sheet. So yeah, so this is why we're going to go into um, Gyarados, right? We're going to go into Gyarados. We're going to make this happen. It's going to be sick, you guys. You guys are all going to freak out until I get burned and then I cry. But surely that won't happen. Do I protect? Yes. Because why not? We got big healing. Nice. Woo! Alright, I can... I can... Again, I can Earthquake. Because... Hyla Swine, Icy Wind did 18 damage. 18 damage, yes. Hyla Swine did 18 damage. Which means that Gyarados... Will do 86. 86 plus 18. Yes, I will be fine. Let's click that Bandit Earthquake. No Bright Powder, thank goodness. Ooh, all right. We're back. Victory Bell is dead. Uh, am I going to revive Victory Bell? I don't think I want to yet. Yeah, okay. We know where the exit is. Okay. Where was the exit again? Ah. Uh. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to ether unless I get very lucky. Here it is. All right. Here we go. Last floor, everybody. Okay. What's up, Waywarder? 
Can we find the exit and a trainer without having to ether up my hidden power flying? Hopefully. I don't think it's likely. I'm probably going to have to ether it up, but let's see. Do I ether it up before a battle? Do I ether it up before the battle just to play it safe, man? Ah. Uh... Uh, Flamethrower will not kill Heracross, no. I feel like I actually do, man. I think I actually do play it safe. I think I have to play it safe here. I think I do. I tried my hardest, but I think I have to play it safe. Because what if I get into a trainer battle? What if I get into a trainer battle where I have to use multiple hidden power flyings? I can, but then I'd have to use a turn. Elevations don't really matter here. Fuck. I don't know, man. Yeah, you're right, Mithridium. Yeah, no. Aethers are still so useful, though. I'm telling you, Aethers are stupid useful. And I also need them for certain strategies later on. What are those strategies that I need them on? Uh, what was the one that I needed ethers? Well, definitely, definitely soft boiled Blissey. 100. I need ethers for Blissey. 100. I guess that's. My upcoming Ludi Colo, I need ethers. I'm running this double team Piccolo. I need ether for this. This seems like a not super important decision, but it actually kind of feels like it is. Did I name it Butterfree? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. You got it. <laughs> That's my bad. Okay. What's up, Chris? Yeah, no, I am. I would start from the beginning. This, I wouldn't just end it. You know what? Let's just... Let's just see if we can find an exit and a trainer right away. I'm going to the top left because I feel like... Okay, uh... Uh... Oh, two sacred ashes! That's actually pretty sick. Where's a trainer, bro? Oh. Is it double? Am I gonna fight the granny? What round? It's every fifth round now. So on 15 20, I cannot use Secret Ash in battle, no. Yeah, it does, Sprassel, it does. <laughs> it took me a lot of preparation, as you can see. Ugh. I'm scared to enter a trainer battle without healing my mons, but... Realistically, I'm only gonna need two hidden power flyings for anything, right? Oh, the prep was definitely half the fun. Why battle this granny? 
Yeah, fuck, I want to find the exit. Expert Miranda. Holy fucking hell. No shot, man. That's scary. I bet she uses every single one, too. Trying to see. Yep, all ten Tyranitars. Okay, you guys, here we go. All ten Tyranitars. I am realizing that grannies have broken Pokemon, and I should never have challenged Granny. Dude, they use only good Pokemon. Why did I challenge this? I am going to try to stay away from experts. Experts have nutty Pokemon. Holy crap. Uh, it's just... Yeah, they do have favorite Pokemon, so this is guaranteed Tyranitar 1 through 10, which doesn't help us, but... It is intimidated. I don't kill it with Earthquake, and I'm dead to... I'm dead to Rock Slide sometimes, most of the time, even. Um, how healthy is my Pylo? Dude, I don't want this to Dragon Dance, man. Tyranitar 1 kills me with Thunderbolt, but I'm faster than all the Tyranitars. I actually kill some with Earthquake. How fast is my Pylo? slower. Nuts. Um, well, let's see Tyranitar 1. Is my Pylo gonna be fine versus it? Yes, my Pylo will be fine. I mean, am I going into Pylo Swine? I don't... That seems like a misplay, right? Why would I do that? Tyranitar 2 is gonna Thunderbolt, and then I guess I can just... Yeah, maybe I play more recklessly with Piloswine here, and I hope that I just don't find another trainer, right? I kind of like playing more recklessly with Pilo here. I can't Sacred Ash, and I'm never going to use Sacred Ash when I'm on Floor 7. That's such a waste of a Sacred Ash. I would never do that. Okay, I kind of want to just go straight into Pilo. I, do I don't see the... Ah, what if they, like... Fucking hell, man. I mean, I do see the problem with going into Pylo. But I can live a rock slide if I just protect, protect. Yeah, this isn't true on Factory, Harry, no. Terminator 4 does what? Tyranitar 4 will also Thunderbolt, and they are specially oriented. Okay. Tyranitar 5, does it have Thunderbolt? No, they will Rock Slide me. Oh, wait, no, they're also... I forgot they're, they're Intimidated here. They're Intimidated. I eat this up. I totally forgot about Intimidate. Bro, I'm gonna... Fuck, dude, what if they Dragon Dance? How bad is it if they Dragon Dance? Let's actually think about that. If they Dragon Dance, then I Icy Wind, right? I I have to Icy Wind and then Earthquake? Or would I actually spam Icy Wind then? If they are... Let's say it is Tyranitar 5, right? And instead of Rock Sliding, because they, some, they don't roll a kill, they only roll a kill on these rolls. They only roll a kill versus Gyarados on these rolls. And they are slower than Gyarados, meaning they are super incentivized to, to DD here. If I go into Pylo on a DD, they're at, they're at, now they're neutral and plus one. Oh, my Gyarados still outpaces? Oh, yo, my Gyarados outpaces plus one. Oh, that's really interesting. Huh. My Gyarados still outpaces plus one because they only hit 237 because there are no speedy Tyranitars. Every single Tyranitar has zero speed. Okay, so that's interesting. Well, I think I would spam Icy Wind still, right? How much does Gyarados do to this shit with Band? 
72. Another thing that's interesting, do I ever X attack Piloswine? I have X attack in my bag, right? Huh. Do I ever X attack the Pilo coming in? If Gyarados does 72, but Piloswine also 2 it KOs after Icy Wind, I don't think X attack does anything for me. No, it doesn't do anything for me. It barely matters, honestly. So I have to I have to force Icy Winds on it. I think this is my play. I don't I don't see how this isn't my play. Tyranitar 6. They would curse. Oh, that's actually really bad if I get cursed on. Fucking hell. What if it's curse rest? I would I would probably have to revive my victory bell if it's curse rest right i would i would have to i would have to revive my victory bell so that victory bell can come in and encore it i guess if i even have time to do that and then giga drain it down how many giga drains does my victory bell have though it's five yeah that's that's enough that's enough well, let's just hope it's not Tyranitar 6, because that would be terrible, right? Tyranitar 7 is interesting. Here they would curse, but they're this weird Rock Slide Aerial Ace Brick Break set. Which is kind of hilariously terrible versus... Really good versus me. Oddly enough. Because they'll... <laughs> Dude, no way, bro. If it's Tyranitar 7, the god-awful Tyranitar 7... That would actually be stupid good versus me because of Aerial Ace and Brick Break. Mother of God. Well, I don't really want to think about that. Is th I, I think no matter what my play is to go into Pylo, right? I gotta go into Pylo. Let's go to Pylo right now and let's scout. Let's go to Pylo and scout. <sighs> Please click Thunderbolt. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Well. Okay. So they're a DD variant. Not T Tarnite. So this means it's either Tyranitar. Um, Tyranitar 3. So it could be Tyranitar 3. Tyranitar 4. Or no, no. Tyranitar 3, 5, 6, and 10, right? Tyranitar 3. Tyranitar 3, Tyranitar 5, Tyranitar... No, no, Tyranitar 3, 5... 3, 5, and 10. I, got, I guess that's just 3, 5, and 10, right? 3, 5, 8, and 10. So, I don't think it's Tyranitar 8. I think Tyranitar 8 really wanted to T-wave my Gyarados. I think they really wanted to T-wave my Gyarados. So, I don't, I don't think it's Tyranitar 8. I think it's 3, 5, or 10. So, I got to Icy Wind them here right now. Yeah, there's no Spadef boost in Gen 3, or else Tyranitar would be busted. Let's just assume it's the worst case scenario, which would probably... Well, Tyranitar 3 would be bad. Let's just say it's this, right? Okay, so now they're at plus one speed. Okay, you know what's interesting, though? I guess the reality that Gyarados outpaced them, there was technically then an argument to stay in with Gyarados, but... There was an argument to stay in with Gyarados if I outpaced, but I don't know. I have to Icy Wind here, though, right? There's no question I have to wind. I, I have to wind. I have to wind. God, that does nothing, though. That literally does nothing. Fucking hell, man. No, we did, but after Sand, we died, Cridley. I've got to spam the wind, right? How much does Gyarados do again? 72. I've got to spam wind just to play it safe. I've got to spam wind. I've got to spam wind. Mother of God, they're just dragon dancing again. Fucking hell, man. 
Okay, they, they, I hit. Let's see if we can suss out any damage. They're tight. Wait, what is Tyranit? Is Tyranitar 10 also max speed? Or, um, oh, yeah, they all have the same bulk. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Um. So now Tyranitar is at plus one. Let's see, what does that look like versus Piloswine? So I still need to Icy Wind again. Or, or do I? Hold on. So, I think I can Earthquake here. Can I Earthquake? So, Gyarados outpaces Tyranitar right now, right? If Gyarados outpaces Tyranitar... Right now... Because if they go for Slide, if they go for Slide on Piloswine, they're gonna, they're gonna Rock Slide again. And because they're at plus, wait, wait, they're, they're at plus one right now. I think I earthquake here. I think I, I think I have to earthquake here. No, if he dances again, I don't lose because I think I, I would live up. I, I can live a plus two rock slide, so I don't lose. See, look, I live a plus two rock slide. So no, I like my Earthquake play here. It secures the victory for Gyarados-ish. Yeah. Icy Wind doesn't make sense anymore. Icy Wind, because yes, if they Dragon Dance, they will outpace. Because like, if they Dragon Dance after I Earthquake, I could just Icy Wind them again. Yeah, I can literally just Icy Wind them again. Yeah, yeah. Because then they'll be at plus one, and then Gyarados still takes them out. So I Earthquake, and then I Icy Wind. Because Icy Wind only covers if they Dragon Dance. No, Earth, yeah, Earthquake is good. Earthquake is good here. Earthquake is good here. Yes, yes. Because right now they are at plus one because of Intimidate. They are at plus one, and they're at plus one. Because I Intimidated and Icy Wind to them, which basically took away a Dragon Dance. So now they're at plus one, plus one. And I eat. Yes. I got an earthquake. Do any of the dragon dance Tyranitars do something fancy? Like, what if it's uh, this Tyranitar? Oh, they would double edge me, right? But I still live the double edge. I still live that double edge. So I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid. And then if it's Tyranitar 8, um, it, it still doesn't matter. They could rest? Oh, fucking hell. I guess they could rest, but that doesn't matter to me again. I don't think that matters. So I got an Earthquake here. Hey, Rockside, please don't flinch, bro. No, not the... Oh. That's fucking unreal, dude. Uh, okay, um, so I gotta, I gotta full restore, right? I think I protect full restore here. I, I have to full restore here, right? No, Gyarados does not guaranteed kill from here. That's Gyarados like is favored to not kill from here actually is the problem. I wish I could like X attack my Gyarados in the back. That if I could X attack a Pokemon in the back, that would solve this. That would literally solve this if I could X attack a Pokemon in the back. Why didn't they add that functionality? Ugh. Well, okay, so they're going to rock slide or earth I mean Okay, hold on. If I wanted to be crazy right now, if I wanted to be insane, technically Tyranitar 3, Tyranitar 3, and Tyranitar 8, or I mean, and Tyranitar, uh, the, 
I could I could technically, if I wanted to be crazy, go into Gyarados and hope that they're gonna click Earthquake. But um that doesn't make sense. What's crazy is that I feel like it's less likely to be Tyranitar 10, because they were technically most likely to click double edge there. So I have to I think I have to use my full restore. No, dude, if I revive Vic Victor Bell is just gonna die. Victor Bell dies to plus one all day. I have to full restore my Pylo. But then Protect doesn't do anything. Can I Protect Hyper Potion Protect? I don't think I can. I simply don't think that is a play. I don't think that gets me anywhere. That just, because Hyper Potion heals for 200. I have to full restore here. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, man. I have the full restore here. Unless... Do I use a max revive on Victory Bell? Does that get me anywhere? Uh, Victory Bell lives a hit. Oh, that's interesting. But then... Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Does... I don't think that's safer though, right? I don't, I don't think it's safer to max revive Victory Bell, right? Like what... Well, okay, actually, max letting Pylo Swine die while I max revive Victory Bell does allow does because if I am I if I'm full restoring Pylo Swine here, I have to dodge two crits and two flinches. Victory Bell, if I max revive Victory Bell, I only have to dodge it once. So that's actually kind of interesting. No, I'm not saying going to Victory Bell right now. That I'm not saying... Or, or... Well, because I literally can't go to Victory Bell right now. I would be saying that I have a Max Revive. I could Max Revive my Victory Bell. Then go into Victory Bell. To... Giga Drain it? But what if they just Dragon Dance? I mean, like, literally, they could just Dragon Dance again. So, like, why... Like, they could literally just drag a dance again. Yeah, bro, they could just drag a dance again, and then that would be terrible. Uh, I don't know what to do, man. I, I actually don't know what to do. TP stall does nothing, man. That's 10 rock slides, man. Uh, that's kind of funny, though, Cridley. Oh, that's actually hilarious. Hold on a second. Damn, that's really funny. Oh, that's super funny, actually. Huh. Protect Hyper Potion. Protect Hyper Potion. Hold on a second. That's hilarious. That's a bizarro idea. Huh. Oh, that's a good idea. Can oh, wait, no, no, you can't. If I protect and then use a potion, will protect fail? I actually don't know how that works. Can you, like, protect potion protect, or will that protect still... Yeah, I still die to a crit, Chris. You're right, you're right. I still die to a crit, which is the problem. Really? Okay. Ah, man. I mean, I... It... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, full restore does seem like a fine play, man. Like, honestly, dude, full restore seems like the play here. To me, it it, it feels like a play. <sighs> uh. 
Uh, you know what else I wish I could do theoretically, but I can't because if I run into a wild fighting type, I lose. Actually, how many fluffy tails do I have? Oh shit. You know what I also could do? Another idea is I could technically, I could technically swap, I could protect with Pylo, swap into Gyarados to intimidate Tyranitar, swap back into Pylo, get the lefties, protect lefties, Hyper Potion my Pylo Swine, and then to it KO it with Earthquake. That's also an interesting idea. And then I can keep Gyarados in the lead slot because Intimidate will still help prevent wild encounters while a dead Gyarados is in the lead slot. Because I could beat Piloswine, I could beat, I could pretty much guarantee beat this um, Tyranitar right now with double EQ. That's super interesting. And, and... Well, the other factor right now is that Gyarados can literally live right now. Like, Gyarados could literally live that Earthquake, that Rock Slide right now. It could, and it's faster than ty any Tyranitar right now. And, dude, I, I'm kind of liking this Gyarados swap more and more. Because the other thing, too, is that um, Sacred Ash you can't use in battle. If I, if I go into Gyarados, right? So Gyarados... Oh no, never mind, it won't live. I'm just dumb. It won't live because it's at plus one, it's not at neutral. Okay. So I die to a rock slide. If they click it, they could also click Earthquake or Double Edge. One of them could also click Earthquake, and then the other T-Wave one. But again, I don't think it's T-Wave Tyranitar. I, I I don't think it's T-Wave. I don't think it's T-Tar 8. I don't think it's this set. I, I think... I think that... I really don't think it's Tyranitar 8. I think it is objectively most likely to be T-Tar 3. Yeah, but then again, T-Tar 3 could have clicked counter at any point right now. They could have clicked counter at any point. So there's like these weird inconsistencies where like it could have been either one of these. But also, Tyranitar 10, Tyranitar 10 could have double-edged my Piloswine because um, versus Piloswine, double-edge on average does more damage than Rock Slide. The 42 upper bound, 40 upper bound. So there's a lot of different things that are like... Oh, Intimidate! Shit! No, 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 no. I, I already factored that in. I already factored that in. It, it sees the kill, yes. Tyranitar 10 is going to click... Um, Tyranitar 10 is going to click one of Double Edge, Earthquake, or Rock Slide, right? If it is Tyranitar 8, they guaranteed click Rock Slide here. Um, if it is Tyranitar 3, they click... Rock Slide or Earthquake here. Um, they will not click anything else. So, if you wanna, if you wanna be specific, I guess. How? So, what are the odds of what could be clicked? You have two Earthquakes that can be clicked, three Rock Slides that can be clicked, and a Double Edge that can be clicked. So, there's two Earthquakes that can be clicked, a Double Edge that can be clicked. That's three. And then you also have three rock slides that can be clicked. So actually, there's only a 50% chance that get, that Tyranitar actually clicks rock slide here. There's a there's a, a raw 50% chance. Now you could go back and be like, okay, what were the odds that Tyranitar used counter on turn one, or what are the odds that you know Tyranitar eight used T wave on turn one? You could you could get in or just raw rock slid turn one, but um. And I think Gyarados would live the double edge, correct? A neutral double edge from Tyranitar 10, I would think I live because Intimidate would bring it back to neutral. Yes, I would live a neutral double edge. I'm obviously immune to Earthquake. But that, that wouldn't really... No, it would do something for me because then I outpace the Tyranitar... Uh, I don't. I don't know if the if the Gyarados swap is worth it though, right? I don't know if it's worth it. <clears throat> yeah, Fluffy. Yeah. So again, 
me sacrificing Gyarados. The play with me sacrificing Gyarados. Would then be that I'm not reviving Gyarados after this. And I am simply fluffy tailing my way to the exit. What happens if I heal Gyarados? Well, then I could simply just lose because Earthquake won't kill, and then I die to Rock Slide. That that doesn't make any sense. I I mean that that would be a losing play. Oh, that's fair, Chris. Maybe I still always just protect here, right? Like, why wouldn't I? I guess I always still protect here, and then that will help me make a decision, right? I think I always do protect here. I think that's a fair point. What can go wrong? I mean, like, they will never Dragon Dance again. They all see kill moves. Yeah, Convictor, but, well, I, Lanky McSwanky, if I'm going to use a revive, I might as well be reviving Gyarados instead. Victory Bell hates seeing Mega Kick Hitmonlee, and obviously Mega Horn, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Heracross. Doesn't like Machamp. It, Victory Bell doesn't like any of these. Um... Let's just protect. Let's just protect. Okay, it's Earthquake. That means it's not Tyranitar 8, which is what I thought. I figured it was not Tyranitar 8. So this actually means then, if it's not Tyranitar 8, it's Tyranitar 3 or Tyranitar 10. And, um, I mean, again, they're at plus one right now, so they, they always see a kill with everything still. Everything is a kill right now. Um, so that means that, and if they didn't double edge either of those times, I feel like it's pretty much Tyranitar 3, right? Like, what are the odds that Tyranitar 10 said, I'm not double edging either of those times that seems kind of crazy that they didn't double edge either of those times right am i wrong there like so it's double edge earthquake slide tar or it's tyranitar three And this is that plus one, my bad. This is that plus one, so I'm dead dead. Man, dude, so like... God, I, I mean... Going to Gyarados feels like such a nice play right now. It really, it really does. It feels like a fine play to make. I'm really scared of counter, though. I'm really, really scared of counter. I'm like, I'm deathly afraid of counter. Because... I'm really afraid of counter, because if I do this Gyarados sacrificing play, like if, if I, yeah, if I do the Gyarados sacrificing play, Hyla Swine has to two-hit KO that Tyranitar. And... I just don't feel like getting countered, man. I just don't feel like getting countered then. I just, I just don't, I don't feel like getting countered, man. That just feels like a, that would be a terrible way to lose. That'd be a terrible... Because, yes, right now, I could go into Gyarados, right? Hylo Swine comes back in, gets lefties, can protect, gets lefties, and then I could Earthquake... I don't know, man. I, I don't think it is, man. I think... Because if I... If... But... And dude, I guess I kind of lose the... No, 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 because... No. I I can win the game right now by 
Can I hyper... Po I can't hyper potion... No, I can't hyper potion into protect into earthquake. I can't do that. So, I have to full restore. I have to full restore into earthquake. Well, full restore, if they rock slide, then I have to protect, and then I earthquake. Oh, what if they just... Again, though. Mother of God, dude. What if they just DD again? Then, then I'd have to stall it out with potions. I would have to stall it out with potions or something crazy. Ice Beam into Earthquake never kills. The Ice Beam does jack shit to it. It won't DD right now, but it, it can DD again when- if it doesn't see a kill with a move, yes, it can Dragon Dance again. It, it, it has- if it, it- it can Dragon Dance- I really think this is Tyranitar 10, though. I feel like they would have countered my Gyarados or something. I don't know. Again, even that is scary, because look at how much Double Edge does, dude. I literally died a Double Double Edge. Uh, but then the recoil actually helps me out there, so actually I like it if they double it. I think I have to full restore here. We'll start a full. I'll you guys feel involved. Man, this is tough, you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Like the stream if you are, you guys. You better like the stream. 100 people watching, and I don't even have 150 likes. It's an easy click. I know you guys forgot. Helps with discoverability. Helps me out a lot. I think I, I, I'm leaning full restore Pylo. That's what I'm leaning right now. Because I can full restore protect ah dude i don't dude i still don't know about the protect thing though dude if i like uh can it fail after i use an item I still don't know about that. I don't want I don't want to sacrifice my Gyarados. I know, right, Plush? I know. But I'm fine if But here's the thing, Plush. Think about this. So I full restore Piloswine, right? I full restore Piloswine. They earthquake me. They will see a kill. Usually. Fuck. I know, man. And this is why people are wondering why I'm so paranoid about items. It's because I need them for situations like this. I know, right, Kaleix? I mean, I can't control getting flinched again, Jonas. I don't think I have a way to, like... Icy Wind doesn't do anything. Volto, where did you find this info? Because that changes everything. That changes everything if you're- if you are for real on that one. I think I might have to sack Gyarados anyway, right? Fuck. No, they can totally miss, yeah. Dude, where did you find this, Volta? Because that changes everything if Protect can fail in between using an item. Because I guess that makes sense, right? Because it, the last move that I used is Protect. The last move I used is Protect. Which is also making me think that I think Protect on my previous turn was still a misplay. Like, it was actually kind of a misplay to use Protect on my last turn. Because if I then use a Potion, I can't Protect after that. So what I needed to do was just full Restore there, and then click Protect. Odd. 
Dude, Rock Slide is so problem. I need to. I need to go Gyarados, bro. Yeah, or they use Double Edge, which would be really good into Gyarados, because Gyarados would eat that. Oh, wait, would it? Yes. Yes, I would eat the Double Edge. Uh, this is emulator, my loud. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm- I gotta go Gyarados, then. I have to go Gyarados. I have to go Gyarados, then. I have to. I have to go Gyarados, then. Because I have to get that Intimidate off. And I just hope they don't Rock Slide. I've gotta hope that they don't Rock Slide. If they Rock Slide, I lose. They also have to hit the Rock Slide. Yeah, I just gotta hope they don't rock slide, right? And then, cause then I can get a choice band earthquake off, and then pile of swine. Oh fuck! Actually, wait a second. Does pile of swine? Okay, but then would pile of swine live? Okay, so let's say pile of swine would obviously revenge with an incoming earthquake, but oh fuck, that would be so awkward then because then it's like. Then I just gotta, like, not get flinched, and I have to not die, and I have to hope that- no, Oh, but if I get an Earthquake off, they won't Dragon Dance below 50 health. So never mind, they'll actually never Dragon Dance then below 50 health, and they'll go for an attacking move. Which means I can protect on that attacking move. Because they-, they it's just random what move they click if they all kill. Yeah, but Cridley, I don't want to revive my Victory Bell. But Victory Bell is not... I can't force an... I can't force anything. I gotta go to Gyarados. I actually have to go to Gyarados now. I have to go to Gyarados. I have to. I have to go to Gyarados because I... The, the item stuff. I gotta go to Gyarados. Let's do this, guys. Please don't rock slide, man. Please don't rock slide. Or just if you go for rock slide, miss, please. No! Oh, come on, bro. Mother of God, dude, they actually rock slid again. That's so crazy. Whatever, I get the lefties recovery here. Um. I mean, okay, I can I? I don't. I mean, if they if they haven't double edged this whole time, it's more than likely T Tar three. Right now, they see kills on Piloswine. Um... Okay, so they see kills on Piloswine. I just have to hope to not get countered, right? I, ha I have to full restore. I don't think I can hyper potion. Can I hyper potion? Okay, I can I can hyper potion if I'm reviving Gyarados. So uh, that's funny, plush. I have to hyper potion. I can hyper potion if I'm reviving Gyarados. If I'm staying in with an. The thing is, versus the wild Pokemon on this floor, right? I think I, I, I want Gyarados alive still. I want Gyarados alive still. So... I'm going to have to use a revive on Gyarados anyway, right? I think I have to revive my Gyarados, unfortunately. No matter what.
Because I want Gyarados in the lead. I, I want... I really want Gyarados in the lead versus Wild Mons. So... It, uh, the AI does not factor in accuracy when selecting moves. It does not care about accuracy. It only cares about does it kill. Because if I... If I try to 1v1 this with Piloswine, first off, counter is still scary. Counter is still a stupid scary move. So... And if I'm not using Gyarados, then my, my strategy versus Wild Mons is fluffy tailing, and I don't think I need to do that. So I think I have to... Now, it's just the question, can I hyper push in here? Can I hyper push in... Because again, right now... Fuck man, I guess Tyranitar might not see a kill. But they'd still attack, what if they Dragon Dance on the hyper potion? Do I have to full restore to play it ultra safe still? I mean, okay, let's see. I'm at 141, right? Let's say I use my Hyper Potion, right? I'm at 341. I don't die to two hits after a Hyper Potion. I, I, I objectively do not die to two hits after a Hyper Potion. And I don't think I protect now, because if I protect right now, then they might not see a kill with their moves, and then they'll Dragon Dance again, and I can't let that happen. I can't- and Hyper Potion into them somehow Dragon Dancing right now, which would be absurdly unlikely that they Dragon Dance right now, but if they do, Hyper Potion is better than Protect. I wonder, does Tyranitar 10 always go for Double Edge here? Oh yeah, Tyranitar 10 always goes for Double Edge here, which is interesting. Um, that's actually really interesting. Well, not always, but they're very likely to. But again, Hyper Potion heals that. I don't, so I don't, oh, but then again, bro, what if they crit? Hyper Potion loses the, no, no, Hyper Potion doesn't lose the crit. Yeah, Hyper Potion actually literally doesn't lose the crit. It would have to be a crit double edge. A high roll crit double edge is the only way that I lose to a crit right now. I roll crit double edge. Which would be just fucking nuts. So I'm not afraid of that. I think I want to save my full restore. I think a full restore is so useful. Ah, but I could save a revive. But I, I have to revive my Gyarados anyway for the wild mods because that's my... Because my plan is to... What's my plan? What the fuck is my plan? Yes. My plan is to Hyper Potion. My plan is to Hyper Potion Piloswine. Hope they attack. Damn, I kind of want them to see a kill though. Wait, hold on. I gotta think about this. Because what if they Dragon Dance again? Then I'm, like, ultra screwed, right? I think I would insta-lose-ish. Because I don't have a Gyarados to swap into. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Wait a second. Wait, I gotta pause. I, I actually gotta pause and think about this. Because if they Dragon Dance again, I can't stall that out with Hyper Potion. Ah, shit. I don't think... What's up, AF? Uh... That's a great job. Heck, everybody, congratulate Hecto Grim for coming up with the most genius idea ever. Why don't you just play and stop overthinking? Hecto Grim, I owe my life to you. That is a great, I think, that is a great plan. Man. Okay, let's... Uh.
Uh... Okay, so let me... Man, dude, yeah, dude. This is, dude, this is so sick. Isn't this actually so interesting? Like, obviously, I have my back against the wall right now, but I, I am, I am loving thinking about how to use items in battle. Like, this is, this is intensely interesting. I can't lie, this is very interesting. You know what else also would guarantee me a victory? You know what else guarantees me a victory? Because none of the wild mons have fake out, right? What would also technically guarantee me a victory is if I protected with Piloswine here. If I protect with Piloswine and that I could max revive my Gyarados. That's another idea. Protect means that Piloswine will guaranteed live the next move. If I max revive my Gyarados, my Gyarados doesn't die to Rock Slide, which I did EV for, as you can tell. I don't die. Oh, fuck. Wait a second. But Sand. No, no. Intimidate. I would Intimidate. I would Intimidate. Wait, wait. Hold on. I mean, max revive doesn't even seem that bad here. Right? That's not the worst thing ever. This could be max or this this could be max revive time. No, I wouldn't. The Titar clicks counter. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just I feel like it's not gonna fucking counter, man. Right now, Tyranitar is at plus zero. Right? It's at plus zero, plus one. Wait, also, wait a second, wait a second. Couldn't I click protect here? Couldn't I protect Earthquake? I could, wait, yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Couldn't I protect Earthquake, Max Revive, Garrett, like protect, Tyranitar tries to hit me. I Earthquake, Tyranitar tries to hit me, hopefully. Max Revive, Gyarados, while Piloswine is on low HP. And even if, so like, let's say I protect, and then as I Earthquake, let's say Tyranitar clicks Dragon Dance. Let, let's just, let's just say Tyranitar clicks Dragon Dance, right? In that situation, Tyranitar, yes, would be faster than Gyarados, but would be at neutral health, which I live the Rock Slide. I, 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 I live the Rock Slide, right? So, Gyarados would- I would just have to dodge a flinch. And I would live. Because Intimidate would bring Tyranitar back to neutral. No, you're good, Hectogrim. Um... Ah... Uh. Uh, that's actually not even a bad idea, right? They're not gonna DD on Pylo. They're going to- they are very, 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 very likely to just attack the Piloswine. Look at all the rolls that kill Piloswine right now with Rock Slide. They're gonna- they're gonna click the kill move. They're gonna click- they're gonna try and click the kill move. Now, how much do I heal when I protect on Pylo, though? Actually, wait, wait, how much do I heal? 403 divided by... 16, right? Right? This is 403 HP divided by 16. 403 divided by 16 equals... 25 health? Oh, I heal 25 on lefties? I heal 25 on lefties? Is that real? So if I heal 25 on lefties, that brings me to 166. And then they never kill. Except, does Tyranitar 10 see a double edge kill? Fucking hell. Maybe. Sometimes. But they would have to select double edge and get the roll. 
which would be nuts. Uh, you'd have- you could tag an at sign. Just don't be too annoying about it, Hector Grimm. Um, Hecto Grimm. Hecto Hecto. Damn, you guys. This is tough. I- I, I kind of like my Protect Max Revive play now, right? I really thought at first it was Hyper Potion time, but... I don't- Damn, do I still do that? Because, okay, if I hi let's say I Hyper Potion, right? Hold on. If I Hyper Potion, I'm at 341. I don't, I don't know what Hyper Potion does. Actually, isn't Protect just a better Hyper Potion here? Because if I Hyper Potion, right? If I Hyper Potion, let's say Piloswine after that, okay, let, let's say it's Tyranitar 3, right? Let's say they rock slide me here, which is very likely, right? So, they would do, let's say they do 148, right? So, 341, 341 minus the average, the mid roll is like 149, right? 149 equals, okay, now we do plus 25. Piloswine would be at 217 health. On average, Piloswine would be at 217 health. Now, they don't see a kill with anything. And they don't see a kill with anything, right? They don't see a kill with anything. So they could either attack or Dragon Dance. And on that turn, yes, I would be clicking Earthquake, right? I, I, would, I would be clicking Earthquake to sacrifice Piloswine to get Gyarados back in. In either situation, I am max reviving Gyarados, because what revive Gyarados is weak to is Tyranitar clicking Dragon Dance again. And I can't Icy Wind right now, because Icy Wind doesn't guarantee the Gyarados kill. It d definitely does not guarantee the Gyarados kill if I get another Icy Wind off, and I have to hit Icy Wind. So I think Protect and Hyper Potion do the same thing. No, Tyranitar's at plus zero. Right now they are at plus zero. Right now Titar is at plus zero because I in it has Dragon Danced. Wait, no. Wait a second. Yeah, it's at plus zero. Wait, wait a second. Wait. In Tim right away. Switch DD. Switch DD. Plus one. Back into Gyarados to sacrifice it, plus zero. Piloswine comes back in. And I Icy Winded, so that eliminated one of the Dragon Dances. Yeah, so they are at plus one speed and plus zero attack. Victory Bell is dead. Victory Bell is dead. Victory Bell does live, yes, but what I don't... Victory Bell doesn't make sense to me. What is Victory Bell doing for my team? And again, I, Gyarados is just better into the wild Pokemon. This is the last floor. I can, I can hopefully dodge as many trainers as possible. If I wanted to be cheeky, I could go, I could use an Aether on HP flying, turn around in place so that my light increases so that I can find the exit. Which I would give myself the ability to do that right now. I think that would be allowed. Could revive, alternate with protects. Toxic? Well, isn't Titar? Wait a second. Isn't Titar three Lum? Or uh, um, what the fuck is uh? I know one of them is Lum. I think Tyranitar ten is Lum. I'm pretty sure Titar ten is Lum. Hold on, I'm looking it up right now. I'm pretty sure Tyranitar ten is Lum. Tyranitar 10 is Lum. Tyranitar 3 is Focus Band. So Toxic doesn't do anything versus Tyranitar 10. So... I don't necessarily like that as much. Q 
you could farm with beef yeah i i think i i think i'm gonna do the protect earthquake max revive gyarados play i think that's what i want to do i th i think that's what i want to do i want to protect i just don't see what can go wrong right now i, I don't see what can go wrong i th i really do think that my play is protect earthquake Protect Earthquake, Max Revive Gyarados, and I, I and I use my Max Revive. Which, if you want to be cute, I guess technically that frees up Bag Space. Yeah, I, I feel like that's my play, man. I think I think Protect is a better Hyper Potion. I think Protect is a better Hyper Potion. I think it is. I think it's a better Hyper Potion. He's going to attack. There's zero chance. Okay, even if he does Dragon Dance, which would be pretty fucking horrendous. Um, uh, what if he does that crazy Dragon Dance play? He should Rock Slide here. He should very, very much so Rock Slide here. No matter what it is. Very, very likely to Rock Slide, or even maybe Earthquake. And then Tyranitar 10 is guaranteed to Double Edge here. Pretty... Yes, Tyranitar 10, in fact, is guaranteed to Double Edge, if it is Tyranitar 10. So, I think I like Protect here. Of course, the problem is, is that, you know, I get to 166, which does leave Double Edge a 31% chance to KO, which is scary as hell, honestly. Ah, but then, then they take Recoil damage into Pylo, right? And then maybe Earthquake can finish it off after that? I don't know, man. I'm gonna protect. Okay, they earthquake. Wow, that's bizarre. That is a rare earthquake. Okay, I really think it's Tyranitar 3 then. Okay, 166, yep. I really think it's Tyranitar 3. I am very convinced by now it's Tyranitar 3. So now I'm going to Earthquake because they don't kill with anything. Ugh, what if they fucking counter? If they counter, I'm still safe. If they count, I actually kind of want them to counter. No, I don't. If I, oh fuck, if they counter, I lose. Oh no, no. Um, I didn't, I didn't consider that part. Um, hmm. If I if I earthquake and they counter, I lose the game right now. Like I, I literally lose. So I could hyper I could just hyper potion my pylo again here. It didn't drag a dance, it's at plus zero. I could just hyper potion my pylo and I feel like that's not even bad. Like, I, I will Hyper Potion my Pylo if it means winning the battle. No. Hyper, max Reviving here doesn't make as much sense. Oh, it kind of does, though. Fucking hell. Does it? No, it doesn't. Because if I Max Revive as they Earthquake, I don't... Then, if I Max Revive as they attack, I then have to full restore my Pylo Swine. I don't want to have to full restore my Pylo Swine. So instead, I, I I have to hyper potion here. I have to hyper potion here. Yeah, but fuck, dude, wait a second. No, no, that that still puts me in the same situation if they attack, right? Hyper potioning here just stalls them, seeing if they're gonna counter, right? Because if I hyper potion, what's my idea then? If they don't counter here, like, so I'm really just using a Hyper Potion to see if they want to counter or not? That feels weird. That feels weird. I don't know. Ah. They kill me at plus one, they definitely fucking do, right? If they DD here. 
If they DD here, I do win on Hyper Potion, though. No, I don't, because I- Oh, fucking hell, I have to- I still have to attack this. Again, this still could be Tyranitar 10, but like... I don't know, man. Not that one. I really feel like they would have done something. I really feel like they would have double-edged there. The odds that they clicked Earthquake there were astronomically low. Not astronomically low, but pretty damn low. Because they had to roll a kill with Earthquake and then choose it over the guaranteed double-edge kill. They had to choose it over the guaranteed double-edge kill. I just, I, I think it's, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lock in on Tyranitar 3. I think I'm gonna lock, oh yeah, it's this one. Yeah, my bad. That's the ball. I'm, I'm locking in on Tyranitar 3. I really think it's T-Tar 3. So... Dude, I just don't want to fucking lose to counter, man. Fucking hell, man. I mean, I don't even think I can... God, man. Uh, maybe I have to just keep potioning. Yeah, plush, that's a good idea. I think I have to potion. Thanks, Andre. X attack? What the hell? What is that? What? Oh, I see. Oh, you're saying to alternate potions and X attacks? Oh, that's kind of funny. How many X attacks do I need? Two? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I could go double X attack? Oh, that's so interesting. Hold on a second. That's hella interesting. Uh. Wait, could I Ice Beam? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Don't I- Wait, wait, I Ice Beam here. Wait, 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 wait. Don't I Ice Beam here and I win? No. Yes! Ice Beam into Max Revive wins! Or, go! Ice Beam wins! Ice Beam wins! Right? Hold on a second. Yeah! Okay, Icy Wind minimum did 35. Ice Beam... If I got a min Icy Wind and a min Ice Beam, let's just say that's 95 damage, alright? 383 minus 95. 383 minus 95 equals 288. How much does my Gyarados do with Earthquake? Does it do 288? Oh. Usually it does. Okay, so I'm definitely favored to win with this Ice I think Ice Beam is the play. So right now, Pile of Swine lives a hit no matter what, you guys. Unless I get crit. Pile of Swine lives a hit unless I get crit, right? So I can Ice Beam it. I can Ice Beam this thing. Gyarados outpaces the Tyranitar right now. Okay, what if... Okay, the question then, of course, is what if Tyranitar clicks Dragon Dance? If Tyranitar clicks Dragon Dance, I would then have to max revive my Gyarados in the back. Because... Would they then see a kill at plus one? Yes. So then I would have to max revive my Gyarados in the back, and I just have to dodge a flinch. Oh, not that one. Calm down. It's at neutral now. Wait, uh... Um, wait a second. My Gyarados takes Sand Chip, though. I'm trying to remember. Why? How am I forgetting this? Oh, fuck. I would take Sand Chip, wouldn't I? Uh, and then that's bad. But they also have to hit. And I can still live, literally, so... I think I have to risk it. Okay, do I have a safer play? 
Dude, I really like this ice beam idea. I really like this ice beam idea. A lot. I think that's fine, man. Because also, that is assuming that Tyranitar Dragon Dances again. If Tyranitar just simply clicks an attacking move here, which they very well could. They could very well just click Rock Slide here, which is what they would click. Tyranitar would click Rock Slide here. Like... If they rock slide here, they'll attack again, and then I win with Ice Beam into Earthquake. I win the game. I, I cannot lose. Because I am faster than plus one Tyranitar. Right? You know, of course, I would... And I, then I would only have to revive my Gyarados. I would only have to revive it. I wouldn't have to max revive it. I would only have to revive it. Which saves a useful resource in that max revive. Full HP Gyarados does not make sense. If they attack, if Tyranitar attacks my Piloswine as I max revive, I lose, I have to then heal my Piloswine again. No, I don't. Tactically, I lose if they click double edge. Well, I really think it's not double edge. If they chose to earthquake over double edge last time, there's just fucking no way, man. Uh, how much does Gyarados take from that sand again? I take like six health, right? So I'd be at I'd be at like ninety three. Yeah, but and even if the yeah then even then the Tyranitar would only have a forty three percent chance to KO. No, yeah, plush. I, I I realized that I didn't bulk it. It was just that was just what randomly happened. I thought I bulked it, but look, my time in my Gyarados has no bulk, so it's just hilariously it's just funny that I actually ended up having the Rock Slide live. I that was not intentional. Yeah, I really think it's Tyranitar three. I think I I think I Ice Beam. I actually think I Ice Beam. I think I Ice Beam. No, if if Titar crits now, I lose. But. I would... The crit is unlikely. It's a 1 in 16 chance to crit. Okay, if I get crit, then, like, so be it, man. You know what I mean? Like, the resources that I would have to expend to play around a crit include... I mean, the resources that I would have to expend to play around a crit would... I would have to use a revive on Pylo, a max revive on Gyarados. Like, how would I even play around a crit right now? So, if we're playing around the crit, Piloswine is dead right now, right? I would have to, like, play this game of, like, I would have to... I would have to revive Victory Bell to then... No, no, no. I'd have to revive Gyarados to then positionally revive Piloswine to then positionally max revive Gyarados. Maybe that's worth it. I don't know. Is that fucking worth it, man? Is that worth it? Really? Is that worth it? That's what I would have to do. I'd have to... I'd have to just... I would have to just use a regular revive on Gyarados to then regularly revive Piloswine to then max revive Gyarados and then still lose to the move counter. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I could play around a crit. No, it's 1 over 16. It could counter now. No, you're right. Fucking hell, man. Maybe I play around a crit. My team is so banged up, man. I guess I could play around a crit. It's not so let so the reason that I can't if I'm playing around a crit, I don't just max revive Gyarados right now, and here's why, right? Piloswine dies. Gyarados does not win the one-on-one. -on -one, like, cause I could get countered. 
I would still lose to the move counter if they click counter right now, which they could, they could click counter. They could, or uh, maybe they drag a dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even if they drag a dance, I would lose because I would take double sand chip. If they drag a dance, then I'd take double sand chip. I'd get outpaced and die to rock slide. So if I am playing around a crit, I don't max revive Gyarados. What I would have to do is I would revive Gyarados. Pile of Swine dies, right? Pile of Swine dies. I revive Gyarados. Okay. Gyarados comes in, intimidates, but is still dead to a rock slide. See, I am still dead to a rock slide. So then I would let it click rock slide to then go into Pile of Swine, right? Yeah, but then I'm, I, I'd be playing around a crit again. <laughs> I mean, dude, to play around a crit, I'd have to revive Gyarados, revive Pile of Swine, max revive Gyarados. But maybe that's worth it here? I don't know. That's so many freaking revives, dude. That's so many revives. I mean, I guess it is worth it, though, right? Because, like, I could lose right now. I ha I've never been this close to losing. I've never been this close to losing, so I guess that's fine, right? And I could get flinched, and then I'd have to fucking, like... I mean, if I, if I Ice Beam and I got flinched right now... I'd have to do the same play, then. I still kind of like Ice Beam, man. Ah, I don't know. Fucking hell, fuck. Okay, well, let's go over the scenario where they DD right now. Let's say they drag a dance right now on my reviving of Gyarados, right? What? Okay, yeah, and you're right. What if I revive Gyarados right now, right? And they drag a dance. Okay. Tyranitar then gets the plus one. They are outpacing Gyarados now, but they're at plus one, right? Well, then that's just terrible. That loses. I would literally lose to that, I think. Yeah, no, yeah, I would. I would I would lose to that. Well, no, then it would still be... Then I would Hyper Potion my Gyarados. I would revive and then... No, no, I would lose. I would literally lose if they Dragon Dance. I can't play around that then. I think I I think I'm going back to Ice Beam, man. If they Dragon Dance, I lose. Because I have to hyper potion Pile of Swine. And then I'm still hoping for a rock slide miss. I would if I get dra if I if they Dragon Dance here, I'm literally then just hoping for a rock slide miss. As I waste so many hyper potions. And I could still get crit. And I could still get crit. I could still get crit there too. And I can't... Well, then Gyarados could come in and then it's like the whole fucking... If I get crit during that healing sequence, then... You know, I still can then go back into Gyarados. Tyranitar goes back to neutral. It would see the kill. I would have to then max revive my Swine. And then I'd have to revive my Gyarados and Hyper Potion it. Man, this is a lot to think about, guys. Freaking hell. Victory Bell is not faster. Oh, wait, it is. No, it isn't. Oh, no. Am I, like, barely not faster with Victory Bell? Hold on. 237? Oh, wow. Why did I not outpace that? Why did I... Why did my Victory Bell not outpace a plus one Tyranitar? Why didn't I add those extra EVs? <gasps> Wait, no. Wait a second. Why did I... Why was I missing EVs on my Victory Bell? Do you see that? I'm literally missing EVs on my Victory Bell. Did I forget to fix that? 
Dude, I actually had Victory Bellas outpacing plus one, and then I forgot to put the EVs on it. Dude, I just needed eight more speed. Oh my fucking god, is that real? I- wow, I- I forgot to put eight more speed EVs on my Victory Bell. Then I would have hit 238. And 238 outpaces 237. That's hilarious. What a terrible thing. What a mistake. <sighs> wow. That's why... Wow, man. Okay. Wow, okay. Well, either way, I, I would put eight more. Well, whatever. I mean, I can't I can't do anything about that now, so it's not worth to think about. Uh, okay. Um. All right. All right. All right. No, it's not random AI. This is smart AI. They know what they're doing. Okay. So, am I really gonna do this whole, like, LOL, let me fucking revive my Gyarados to outplay, to play around a rock slide hit and crit? To play around a rock slide hit and crit? I don't think so. I don't think I do that. I revive, and then I have to do the fucking, I have to then do like a, then I'm like stalling out the Tyranitar with Hyper Potions, I guess. If I revive my Gyarados, again, if I revive my Gyarados, I still have to find a way to get damage onto Tyranitar with Piloswine's Earthquake or Ice Beam. And my Gyarados, if it Dragon Dances, my Gyarados needs to be at full health because um, plus two Tyranitar outpaces Gyarados. So I think, I think I'm Ice Beaming. I think I have to Ice Beam. Ah, maybe I don't. Yeah, if Gyarados comes in, it gets an Intimidate off, I guess. Oh my god, man. Maybe I do revive the Gyarados just to Intimidate it. Because I'm just so scared of Tyranitar Dragon Dances here. Now, what's funny is then they could Earthquake on, Ty on Gyarados coming in, which would be pretty funny, huh? Because if they Earthquake on the revived Gyarados coming in then, then I can go back into Piloswine. I'll eat a Rock Slide, right? Because it'll be intimidated. So then it would go back to neutral. I would eat the Rock Slide. Um, they'll go for an attack so I can protect with Pilo to stall out another hit. Go back into Gyarados to intimidate it again. Then I'd go into Piloswine. So then Tyranitar's at minus one. And then I would Hyper Potion my Piloswine up. Then I'd have to Hyper Potion my Piloswine twice. So already I'm using two revives and two Hyper Potions. And then I feel like I would have to revive my Gyarados while getting an Icy Wind Earthquake off on Tyranitar. While getting an Icy Wind Earthquake off on Tyranitar. Uh, I just don't know if I'm overthinking. Because Tristan, if I Earthquake and they counter, I lose the game. If I Earthquake and they click counter, I lose the game. That is the precise reason. so many different plays right now. Hope you guys are enjoying this, like, really in-depth moment.
I think I think I maybe go for a long strat, man. Yeah, it's either Ice Beam or Reviving Gyarados. That's definitely the play. Ugh, frick, man. I mean, like... No, I just messed up with the Victory Bell EVs. We are ignoring that right now. No, I I'm I think I'm with you. I think I'm I think now is the time that I use these items, right? Why I don't want to lose and have 16 hyper potions and 11 revives in my bag. I want to win while having less items. So I think I play a long game right now. You know what? Fuck it, man. Let's play a long game. I could sit here for longer and analyze it, but this isn't for a world record. Let's just play some Pokemon and revive my Gyarados. Let's just see what's up. Let's see what's up. Mother of God, it dragon danced again. Well, that was the nightmare scenario. Okay. Planetar is at plus one and plus two. All right, here we go. Now they see the kill with Rock Slide. I can't protect here. They are going to Rock Slide or Earthquake here. Um, I've got to go to Gyarados now. So yeah, Tyranitar is at plus one, plus two. So Gyarados is always going to underspeed. So hopefully they go for Earthquake because that would be pretty sick. Um... Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so let's go into Gyarados. We'll intimidate it. Go back to Piloswine. Yeah. Let's hope it earthquakes, man. Or misses a slide. That's what we gotta hope. They're not gonna Dragon Dance again here. We should also... I should get my notepad out. We got it. Let's get a notepad out. I think it's... In, I think I can... I think I can say this is Tyranitar 3 at this point. Let's get our notepad out. Members, you know what time it is. Spam that notepad. Spam that notepad emote. Pyramid notepad time. Here we go. Earthquake. Rock slide. Dragon dance. Um, or counter dragon dance. And also, just because I know you guys like seeing the chat, I'll move this... Oh, whoopsie. I'll move this up here. I think this is fine. Right there. We'll move the notepad up there. Okay. It's used Earthquake how many times? Once out of... Once out of ten, I believe, it's used Earthquake. It's tried to use Dragon Dance now... Three times. Out of... It can use, uh, um... Twenty of those. And it's used Rock Slide... Once out of twenty, I believe? Once out of ten, I mean? Something. All right, I gotta go Gyarados. I mean, I, I I have to go Gyarados, and hope that it earthquakes. If it earthquakes on Gyarados, I can go back into Pylo. There's no other play. So, I gotta go into Gyarados and hope they earthquake. Come on, man. Please, 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 earthquake. All right. Now they're back to neutral. Yes! Okay, huge! Okay. Hmm, yes, you're right. It is two rock slide. Okay, that's big. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so now we can go back into Piloswine. Because Tyranitar is at neutral now again, they... They want to click Rock Slide on Gyarados because they see the kill. Piloswine will live the incoming Rock Slide, guaranteed. Um, and I can then protect because they're going to see a kill move. Let's do that. Rock Slide, fine. Nice. All right, let's protect here. Let's protect and stall it. I mean, like, do I need to protect? I might as well. What else am I going to be using protect for? I'm not going to battle another trainer, hopefully. Yep, there's another slide. Huge. All right. That's the fourth slide. 
All right. Now they see a kill with Earthquake and Rock Slide. So again, I go into Gyarados to try and intimidate it some more. I go back into Gyarados and then I'm going to have to full restore my Pylo. Pretty sure. Right? This is what we this is what we discussed. This is what we discussed. Uh, this is not a world record run, Maddie B. This is a personal challenge that I have. You can do exclamation point info to find out. I released a video that talks about it. Um, the world record... Yeah, world, yeah, world record is, like, super good. And also the world record holder got bored with continuing the streak because Blissey breaks the battle pyramid. I think a pyramid world record would be way more interesting with a Blissey and Salamence band, personally. Yes, two videos. Thank you, Matt B. All right. Um, also, hi, Lilybug. Welcome back. I know I saw you before. Um, okay, so... Right, I think I... Uh, I forgot what I wanted to do, realistically. Yeah, college is wild. Um, I think I go into Gyarados, right? Flaking is also stupid good. Um, Pitar is intimidated, yes. What's up, Swigus? Yeah, this is a crazy thing that's happening right now. But it's at neutral. I mean, so I think the play is still... Sacrifice Gyarados, right? I sacrifice Gyarados to intimidate it again. Right? Yes. 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 I go into Gyarados to intimidate it again. So that I can go back into Piloswine, I would have to full restore my Piloswine. And then Icy Wind, Earthquake, or Icy Wind. Well, then I'd have to max revive my Gyarados. Yeah, I, I think I don't stay in here. Because I'm just going to die. Well, actually, I don't. No, I'm going to die if I stay in, which doesn't make sense. Oh, Gera. Earthquake. Earthquake. Come on, Tyranitar, you can do it. Earthquake. Yes! That's so huge. That's really big. They still see a kill on Gyarados, and they're faster, but that's okay. Tyranitar is now at minus one. Okay. Let's go back to Pylo. Oh, wait, do I go Pylo here? Wait, do I go Pylo? I forgot. Do I go Pylo here? Yes, right? Huh. Pylo only dies to... I think I do go Pylo here. Yes. Yes, I go Pylo here. So that I can still... Because I don't die to anything. Oh, shit. Actually, I do. Oh, I could die to the incoming rock slide. I actually have an okay chance to die to that incoming rock slide, don't I? 50% chance to die to the incoming rock slide? Um, interesting. Interesting. So is this where I sacrifice Gyarados? Uh, I don't want to have to sacrifice Gyarados, but also, like... Ah. Uh, I don't think healing Gyarados makes sense here. I, I don't understand why I would heal Gyarados.
that does not take it. I mean, I still die to two rock slides. No, uh, I don't. Oh, shoot, man. Pilo Swine. That's actually so annoying for Pilo. I didn't realize that that, would, that that has a good chance to kill it on switching. It also has to hit that range, and it could miss, though. What's the- what- how bad is it if Pilo dies? If Pilo dies... I'd still be revi- I- Gyarados would then come back in to intimidate. I would revive my Pilo Swine as Gyarados dies, and then I'd revive Gyarados again. And then win the game. If I can get that- I- if- cause then I could- Right? Cause how much does- Tyranitar do to Pilo? At minus two. Oh, it's so bad, man. Oh, um, all right, see ya, Terry Bogard. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, I think I hyper potion Pilo Swine. Can I Hyper Potion Piloswine and get off the sequence of Revive Revive Ice Beam? Can I get off the Revive Ice Beam sequence then? Revive Revive Gyarados Ice Beam Tyranitar. Can I get off the Revive Ice Beam sequence then? Because Is Gyarados at minus two or minus one? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Tyranitar is at, uh... Shoot, man. Is Tyranitar at minus one or minus two? Is Tyranitar at minus one or minus two? Is Tyranitar at minus one or minus two? I forgot. Yeah, he's at minus one, fuck. Pilos, okay, so let's say Pilo Swine gets the 301 then, right? 301 Pilo. 301 Pilo. Uh, I kind of like, I kind of like sacrificing Gyarados. Because. Also, do, how much does Gyarados take from a minus two rock slide? I don't think I die, right? Fuck, oh, I do? Nuts. After sand, I likely die. No way, bro. So I do have to fit an Icy Wind in, I think. I think I want to fit an Icy Wind in. Can I fit in Icy Wind? I don't think I have- I don't think I can- without- well, I just use a Hyper Potion. I, I would use a Hyper Potion. I would- I would keep Gyarados in just to preemptively heal my Piloswine with a Hyper Potion, right? I would heal this with a Hyper Potion. And then- so I would heal Piloswine with a Hyper Potion. Gyarados d dies if Rock Slide hits, right? Piloswine comes in, gets Lefty's Recovery. Then I could... I still don't Earthquake in case they counter. I could Ice Beam. I could Ice Beam and then Icy Wind. I could Ice Beam, Icy Wind, Revive. I think I can Ice Beam, Icy Wind, Revive. 
No, there's no X defense in the bag. I used that earlier for, um, uh... I used it smartly. I don't remember where I used it, but I know I used it, like, in a good way. Yeah, I'm gonna, pr I'm gonna heal my... I'm gonna heal my Pylo. Miss? Man, they really hitting all of their rock slides, bro. But whatever. That's fine. I'm actually chilling with that. That's okay. Here comes Pylo. Sandstorm rages, but I get that lefty's recovery. Huge. Nice. Okay. So now with Pylo Swine is in, I'm not earthquaking to lose the counter. Tyranitar is at minus one. It's not at minus two. So they want to Dragon Dance maybe to boost their attack. They could also just attack. I feel like I want to... Ice Beam to secure an Earthquake KO at minimum, right? Uh, I have to max revive my Gyarados. Well, unless I can find a way to get Ice Beam... Unless I can revive and potion my Gyarados... I, I want Ice Beam. I don't think I protect here. I want Ice Beam damage right now. That's fine. This is okay. I'm not, I'm not that scared of this. Okay, plus three. Sure. Maybe we get a freeze, something cute. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so now Tyantar is at plus three, plus zero attack. Okay, that's not the end of the world. I have to get two Icy Winds off to secure the win with Gyarados right now. So I think I, I'm just going to Icy Wind spam, and I think I'll be fine. This Pile of Swine can eat these. I've just... It's a, I just got to Icy Wind this shit twice. I've just got to Icy Wind it twice. Oh, God, 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 God. Oh, my God. That's so frustrating, dude. Six slides. Ah, uh, but... Bro, that's so annoying again. Now I'm dead to crit. I gotta revive it right now. Um... I kind of... I think I could protect here. Protect and then revive, maybe? I kind of like protect and then revive. I think that's kind of cute. I think protect and then revive is pretty cute. I think that's a cute play. Right? Well, I mean, they're not gonna... If I recall, Dragon Dance doesn't need to when they're at plus three. Well, maybe not. There's nothing with that. Definitely just protect. Okay. Rock slide was protected versus... I am dead to a crit. Thank God that Pile of Swine is immune to sand, by the way. Okay. Now I revive. I revive the Gyarados. Do I max revive at this point? Um, in case of counter, Emanuele, in case of counter, if I earthquaked and I got countered, both of my other Pokemon are dead, Pyloswine would die and I would lose the run. It hasn't seemed to want to counter at all, but like, um, yeah. You know what's funny? I think on, um... I think I'd use Flamethrower then on my banned Gyarados. I think I'd use Flamethrower so that I don't lose the counter strats. Well, no, no. I, I mean, I, if I get an attack off, I win with... I just don't want to get Focus Band countered. You guys feel me there? I don't want to get Focus Band countered. Yeah, it's kind of crazy it hasn't used counter. I, I'm with you. I really thought it would be using counter.
Okay, I mean, I have to... I'm just deciding, am I reviving or am I max reviving Gyarados? Does it matter? It does matter. It does matter, because... It does matter. I can... I can max revive Gyarados right now, and then I can win. And that's, that's a pretty cool thing. I can max revive Gyarados, and I can win... Because, yes. Yeah, I can I can max revive Gyarados and get the kill. With Earthquake. Would they outpace me and get a Rock Slide off that could crit or flinch? Yes. Ah, uh, that's... I mean, do I have a better play? Like, what else am I... What, why would I just regularly revive Gyarados? What does that do? What is my play if I regularly revive Gyarados? All right. Right now versus Pylo. Tyranitar is at plus zero. They rock slide me. Okay. As I revive. What am I at? I'm at two, five, six, right? I mean, I'm basically dead. Well, if I get another Protect off with some lefties, I actually could be fine. But again, I need I, I need two Icy Winds. I think I need... Because I, I think I need... I think I need the Max Eye. Because it, it's going to be two Icy Winds to outpace this Tyranitar anyway with Gyarados. And I think that's a lost cause at this point. Uh, however, if I can stall out the Rock Slides, then that's also really nice, right? Wait, what if I just hyper potion my what if I just hyper potion my Piloswine right now? I don't die to a crit right now if I hyper potion my Piloswine. I could hyper potion my Piloswine. There goes another rock slide. Alright. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I ice beam so that I don't get countered. Hmm. I cannot alternate Potion and Protect. Because I used Protect as my last move, because I used Protect as my last move, um, uh, using a Potion doesn't count as a turn, so Protect could still fail after that. I gotta get rid of the slides, man. I gotta get rid of the slides. Gyarados, I don't even think, wins. Because of the sand chip? I mean, I died to how many sand chips? 16 sand chips? And, and I, I still- I get- I could get countered? Oh, maybe I could swap stall then. If I stall out rock slides... Gyarados is immune to earthquake and- Oh, then I could actually just swap stall between Piloswine and Gyarados, right? Because of Earthquake plus Counter. Earthquake and Counter can't hit Gyarados. Earthquake does hit Pylo, but they'll never Earthquake on Gyarados because Gyarados is immune. Huh. This is not Tyranitar 5. Well, fuck. I guess it could be. Why did I forget Tyranitar 5 exists? What was my... Oh, I guess I did kind of forget about fucking Tyranitar 5, didn't I? Good fucking lord. Um... Jesus, okay. Um... <laughs> it's only totally forgot about this shit. Um... Well, let's just... Damn, it probably is Tyranitar 5. How did I miss Tyranitar 5? What the fuck? This thing surely would have countered at some point. Oh, good lord. Well, I don't know what this is then. Okay, here you go. Yeah, it's probably T-Tar 5. Well, I don't have Roar, but also Roar doesn't work in trainer battles. This is a trainer battle, so Roar would do nothing. T-Tar 5 has chest, though.
Uh, I guess I revive my Gyarados, right? I guess I revive my Gyarados. Another thing about Piloswine being in on this right now. Another thing about Piloswine being in on this at 256 health, right? That. Is that I could go Pilo. I think I do revive my Gyarados. Mother of God, you did not just... Yeah, oh, I'm not outpacing this shit now. That plus one, though, now. Okay, interesting. I, I, I do not die to any of these moves. Um... No, I still can't EQ. Because... I then lose to... I mean, I just don't EQ. I mean, maybe? I guess if I'm not afraid of counter now, don't I just EQ its ass? Huh. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's gonna double rock slide me, though. Well, it could also rest, which I don't want to happen. No, protect does not work. Yeah, web, it is better, it is. It definitely is. Yeah, if I EQ, it's just gonna rest. I, I don't- I don't know. I, EQ feels wrong. I didn't max revive my Gyarados. I only revived it. Still have to stall out, what, three more slides, man? It's gonna slide me right here. I, I guess I just Earthquake it, huh? I guess I just Earthquake it? I can Earthquake, Protect, go to Gyarados. And then it's just again, like I would just then Earthquake, Protect, go to Gyarados. Rent is, rest is incentivized when they don't see a kill and they're below 60% health. I think I Earthquake here. I, I don't see what can go wrong if I Earthquake. If they crit me, I still have Gyarados in the back, so then I can still just revive my Piloswine. I can still revive my Piloswine if they crit me. But if I Earthquake... And they Dragon Dance again or something, then that's also fine, I guess? Right? That's also okay? Because then I'll have 50... 281 plus 50 is... 331, right? And I don't die to a plus 2 Rock Slide. And I'd get two leftovers at that point. So... Huh. I'm just gonna earthquake on its ass. Holy goddamn and dragon dance. Now it yeah, now it's at plus two, plus five speed. Okay, surely now it's gonna see a kill. Well, sometimes. I could just Earthquake again. That seems kind of funny. Icy Wind does nothing for me at this point. Why don't I just Earthquake its ass? Then I think I win. I think I win if I just Earthquake its ass right now. 
Uh, I could totally see a kill with Rock Slide, though, so I kind of want to protect. I just don't want my protect to fail on a resto chest, though. That's my fear right now. What are the odds that it sees the slide kill? 37% and it has to hit. Okay, well, what's the downside if I don't protect and kill and get killed? Gyarados comes in. I then have to revive my Pylo. If I, if I revive my Pylo, yeah, then Gyarados is at, or Tyranitar is at plus one. Pylo Swine would be at, you know, 201 health, or no, 202 health plus 25, so that'd be 227 health. If I die to a plus one slide, yeah, I could. Well, then i just protect again. But then I'd have to play around to crit again by reviving Gyarados again. But then again, I have items for a reason. I just, I want, I, I'm fine with using potions. I just don't want to be using all these revives, but. Oh wait, that was a slide. No, it wasn't. No, it still has three slides. It has Chesto Berry. This has Chesto Berry. Dude, they're gonna fucking rust. Unless they see a kill, they're gonna rust my ass right now. They, they're, they are going to rust if they don't see the kill. I don't even think it's the worst thing if they... I think I protect. I think I protect. If I protect and they rest, that's okay. Because I will be at 331 health. And I don't die. So I could still just Earthquake them. Ah, but if I protect and they rest and then they slide and I... Well, if I protect and they rust and then they slide... That's so much damage, man. Hold on a second. Because if they could rock slide and kill me right now, Mike Jones. They have a, um, I'm at 306. Right now, they have, if they see the kill with Rock Slide, this is the chance that they kill me with the slide. So they can roll a Rock Slide kill and then go for the kill. No, uh, no. Protect would fail on the next turn. Damn, man. This battle is so crazy. I think I protect. If I protect and they rock slide, that's a great thing for me. If I protect and they rest... That's bad, but I live the incoming rock slide. So... Yeah, let's just protect. Come on, rock slide. They'll probably rest, but... Nice. That was huge. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That's That was lucky of me that they didn't decide to rest then. Um... Okay, nice. So now they don't kill with slide. Um, I could just earthquake. Doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I could just Earthquake here. Um, let's just do that. Yeah, now they rest. All right, it was Tyranitar 5. That's fine. Okay, sure. I can't believe I forgot about Tyranitar 5. We were that we were playing around counter that bad. And I totally forgot that Tyranitar 5 existed. Probably the best Tyranitar in Battle Factory, by the way. Or just in the Frontier, I'd say. Get a crit, maybe? A little crit? Crit action? All right, low roll. That's fine, though. Ooh, they might actually want to rest again here. Oh, I think they're going to rest here again. And I think I can now just win by clicking uh, Earthquake. I think they rest again. Oh, they DD'd. Monstrous. Now they're at plus three. Maybe I'll get a roll and kill. 
Like, like the highest roll would kill here. Okay, that's fine. Um... Hmm. All right. So again, they can either see a slide kill or not. I have to protect here. Protect makes sense, right? Yes, I definitely protect here. Because they could see the slide kill. That's fine. I don't care. That's whatever. They're sleeping, I win the game. Ish. Somewhat. Okay. So now... Let's just earthquake this shit. Sleep. Earthquake. Nice. They're gonna sleep again. Ooh, actually, you know what I should have done? I should have made them want to rock slide and then protect on the rock slide. That's what I should have done. Oh, yeah, that's what I should have done, huh? No, whatever. That's what I should have done, but whatever. Fuck, man. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Well, they're gonna rest here, so... Yeah, see, I shouldn't have... So I should really actually be um so what i should do is yeah that that was a misplay tactically that was a misplay yeah i could x attack oh i could have x attacked on the rest actually <gasps> Got your ass, Tyranitar! <laughs> Woo! Big Pylo! Oh, what a battle. What the actual... What in the world was that battle? Never talking to an expert again. No, oh, dude, tell me where the exit is. Holy crap, okay. Now I'm scared, bro. Do I still ever ether? Okay, there's a double battle there. So fucking scared. I hate this layout! I'm- using an ether, fuck it. Hate that I have to, but... Nothing? Okay. Or whatever. Oh, no. Oh. Never mind. Well, I wasted an ether, but okay. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I gotta toss something. What am I tossing? I think I definitely tossed the X attacks. Good lord. Whew! 
next round. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now it's time for the mod on the thumbnail that you guys have been waiting for, you guys. It's a Lumai's time. For, this is a strategy that I'm a little bit shaky of, I'm a little bit scared of, to use this one. Let's go, you guys. Alright, we're gonna nickname these Pokemon. We're gonna go right away, you guys. We're gonna go right away. Alright. Woo! Oh, whoopsie. Alright, here we go. Lapras. Needle Queen, Illumise. These mods have already been nicknamed, by the way, but that's okay. Let's nickname them real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay. What did they nickname Lapras? It was something dumb. I'm just kidding. It probably wasn't dumb. No, oh, oh no, it was a good nickname. It was Marina. This is a good nickname. Oopsie Daisy. Marina. Marina, Jessica the Needle Queen, and Lara. Okay. Marina, Jessica, and Lara. Didn't know Jessica looked like a Nido Queen. Jessica Manip is in shambles right now. Here we go. Lara Croft, the Illumise, everybody. You guys are not ready for this Illumise set, by the way. Yes, I will call it Illumise and not Illumise, and all of you can complain. You bum 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 bum. Oh, money, 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 money. Get out of the way! All right, you guys, here we go. You guys ready? The trainers are still good. Oh my gosh, look what happened to Tropius in the green screen. So yeah, this is the weather round. So um, yeah, that's it's literally the weather round. Um, yeah, some cool sets. Look at this nasty, nasty Illumise. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. All right. So the idea is that versus a lot of these mons, Lapras just kind of owns them because it just it just walls a lot of their hits. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about this Lapras because it will be taking damage versus some things. Um, and then I decided to pair it with Nidoqueen. Makes sense, right? Fighting resist, electric resist, punches through things for, uh, you know, Lapras. And then Illumise was kind of the, like, okay, I don't want it... I, Illumise was a really cool last pick that I thought was going to be Bolt Beam, but it just actually helps with a lot of stally stuff that I lose to. Um, with Encore plus Seismic Toss to break them down. Wish for support and Toxic. It's going to be lit, so yeah, it's going to be sick. Alright, you guys. You guys ready? Some Eggplant. What is up? It's been a bit. It's been a boy. Whew, let's go. You guys liking the stream? If you like the stream, you gotta like it. Oh yeah, it's because of the green screen, so that's why Tropius looks funky. I'm also gonna get- I wanna get a little snack. Almost went off course. Here we go, you guys. All right. Do I want to battle a triathlete? Am I feeling the triathlete vibes right now? Or the biker? 
What do cyclists even like to bring? weird variety of Pokemon. I like how Lapras looks versus them. Okay. <laughs> bim bum 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 bum. Oh good, some eggplant. Alright, you guys, you ready? You guys ready to rock? Are you ready to rock? Bam 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 bam. Okay. I have lefties, choice band, lefties, yes. Also, yeah, I, it's interesting that I was going to use Parish Song here, but Icy Wind just ended up being way too important. Revive? Oh, that's massive. Okay, I'll just face you right away. Oh no, it's Caitlyn. And her Machamp. Alright, well that's fun, isn't it? This is why we have Illumise, you guys. Illumise comes in and it's gonna encore the cross chop. Tell me that's not kind of sick. Illumise is gonna come in and, cro and encore the cross chop. Um, it's gonna be hype. <laughs> Yeah, and let's just see if I can tell for sure that this is going to be, like, one of eight. Oh, actually... I'm looking here... Oh, this is actually guaranteed Machamp 2! Guys, this is actually guaranteed Machamp too. That's actually kind of fun because it's it's a set that would have destroyed us with bulk up. We literally would have lost the game to this bulk up rest Machamp if we didn't have the wonderful power of Illumise. Now, do they see a kill on Lapras? I don't think they do. Oh, they could. Mm, but they could also very likely just click bulk up. Do I want to go into Nidoqueen as a positional pivot? Nah, if they cross chop Nidoqueen, then they'll see the kill with Earthquake. But do I actually want Illumise to be encoring Earthquake or cross chop, man? No, this is actually kind of scary now that I think a prankster does not exist in Gen 3. Um. This is a little scarier than I thought. I think I go Illumise, though. I think Illumise is clearly the play. And then I actually don't even Encore Cross Chop. I wait for them to click Bulk Up, and then I Encore the Bulk Up. Yeah. So let's go into Illumise, you guys. Yeah! Nice miss, Punk. Alright, so now... It doesn't really matter. Like, I'm going to wait for them to Bulk Up, and then finish them off with Seismic Tosses. So, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. They're, they're going to bulk up here. Um, let's just toss them, and then we'll Encore, and then toss them some more. Got him. Silly. Silly Machamp. Introducing Illumise. And good night. That's game over. Tell me that's not sick. <laughs> Isn't that so sick? Goodbye.
Let's go. I did beat the Cheetar. Okay, there's two trainers left. Okay. Nice. We're just looking for an exit. Oh, oh, double items. I don't know where you turn. I'm scared. Two revives. <gasps> oh. Uh, does this threaten us? Yeah, we'll surf it. Okay, well, where's the exit? Oh, King's Rock. Do I need this? One, two. I don't- I'm not gonna use this, surely. I don't know when I would use King's Rock. But I'll keep it in my bag, I guess, just in case. So now I'm just gonna keep trying to run versus Quagsire, because it doesn't threaten me with anything. And I'm relatively fast, so... I gotta be close to the exit, right? Where's this exit? Holy... Corner? I'm actually confused where this is. Ooh, we're gonna use that X Defend over a King's Rock. We love X Defend. That can actually be useful. Nope. Another item! Ooh, Lepa Berry. Dang, do, I mean, I, I'm not gonna toss all of my leftovers for a Lepa Berry, am I? I... Do I? It's the weather... Do I? Toss all my leftovers for a Lepa Berry? The next time I could even ever think about using triple lefties is with Blissey Bonnet Octillery. No, I can't. Dude, I literally can't. Look. No, I wouldn't. Why would I give the X Defend to Illumise? What? What? No. Yeah, it does. The thing is, you guys, I don't need all these lefties. I, I literally don't. The only times I'm using triple lefties are Blissey Bennett, the, the Blissey team, the Smeargle team, I would like to use triple lefties for sure. I mean, I guess it's kind of worth it then, right? Where else am I using triple lefties? Um... There's a place. A Jolteon, Shift 3, Mantine would be triple lefties. Um, that's, that's kind of it. Yeah, that's literally it. No, here I'd use triple lefties. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's literally it. That's 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 it. That's all I'd use triple lefties. Oh, and here I'd use triple lefties. So there's like five places where I'd use triple lefties. Yeah, there's literally only five places where I'd use triple lefties. So 
and they just they just the bag slots are annoying. Like I don't I literally don't need them. X defend can be useful. I'm not getting rid of X defend. I, I have seen X defend be useful. Yeah, choice band knockoff is annoying. Uh. Yeah, man. Huh. I really do just want to toss the leftovers. It would just be to use- it would only be to use the Lepaberry on this floor, though. And do I really need Lepaberry? Maybe? For the Wild Mons, I might want Lepaberry. I don't know. Probably not. Fluffy Tail guarantees you run from a wild encounter. This will be useful in, like, Floor 7 scenarios, where I'm not using my lead at the end because I don't feel like reviving it. Lepaberry only does 10. Eh, maybe it's just not worth it. Maybe the leftovers for later rounds is actually worth it. Let's not take it. But I also can't move past that, so that's kind of funny. Dude, I, I have no clue where this exit is. I am- I am perplexed. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh! Good lord, it's- it was in the middle. All right, let's go to the next one. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I did beat the Tyranitar. Okay, here we go. Oh, we instantly found the exit. That's good. Alright, so here I can literally just run, try to run. Yep. Oh, Quick Claw could be cool on that camera up later on, but I don't think I need Quick Claw. No, I don't need it. I don't need Quick Claw. I don't need it. I don't need Quick Claw. Cool pickup. I, don't, I just don't need it. Alright, surf. Just trying to find a trainer. Because we know where the ether. Nice. Oopsie. I don't... Oh my gosh. He's like double battles? Who am I facing? I hate how my ice beams are just leaving. Oh, that's... Is that stupid useful? Not really, right? The Max Elixir? Will I really be using that this round as opposed to an X Defend? For who? I guess like my Lapras? PP wise for my Lapras? I think X Defend- I think you guys are sleeping on X Defend. X Defend could win me a trainer battle. When am I- what if versus Wild Mons? What else am I using versus Wild Mons? Yeah, look, I guess like Ice Beam, Ice Beam. Ugh. 
Surfing up, Thunder. I don't. Uh, I guess I could. You, I could. There's an argument for Max Elixir for. Nah, but see, often ethers are fine because usually I just need to heal one move. What does Max Elixir do again? It helps with like every single one. Well, the thing is here, Lanky, is that Lapras is unique in that I'm not just using one move for the wild Pokemon. I'm using three of my moves for wild Pokemon. I Ice Beam, Cacturn, Tropia, Surf, Pupitar. I just run away from Lapras. I Surf, Flareon, Ice Beam, and Surf. So Surf, Ice Beam, Surf. Surf, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. Surf, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. I could see it being used. I could see the Max Elixir being useful. I could see it. You know what I think I'll do, though? First... First, I'll keep the X-Defend in my party in case I need it for this upcoming battle. And then, I'll re if I didn't, then I'll replace it with a... If I didn't, then I'll toss it, replace it with a Max Elixir. Um, yeah, Swigus. So the thing is, Swigus, is that I've kind of allowed myself... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of saying that I'm not allowing myself to just grind light for every single floor. But... Yeah, Max Elixir does just seem useful enough. Do I battle the expert? I think I've learned to not. What's my other choice, though? Okay, I gotta make a choice. I think I'll battle the Dragon Tamer because I have a whole ass Lapras. Okay, cool trainer, whatever. Mother of God. Well, I mean, I just surf it, right? I just surf it and hope it doesn't boom. I don't see what else there is to do. Ah, I can X defend. <laughs> X defend on the boom question mark. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm just going to surf it, but Damn, maybe. Nah. Well, with lefties, do I take... I take 40 to 47 from Earthquake, right? Hmm. No, they can still boom, I'm pretty sure. The yeah, Kronos. I'm just gonna fucking surf it. Oh, it missed the tomb. That was Steelix 1. Good. Oh, you got me with the citrus. Great healing. I'm gonna go for an icy wind kill because I'm quirky. And I want to save PP. It is that way. Okay. Ah, I guess I can get rid of the X Defend. I don't know, man. I guess. Yeah. But won't- at this point, aren't I just gonna ether this thing? At this point? X 
Strength Defend is so situational. But it also seems kind of cool. I could see Wigglytuff needing an X Defend here, by the way. Bro, I might keep the X Defend for this Wigglytuff. I, mu I legit might just keep an X Defend for this Wigglytuff. What's up, Brock? It's going pretty cool. It's pretty cool so far. Let's see, how many I have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 slots. If I kept the X Defend, I'd have to get rid of something else, and I'm not getting rid of any of these things, right? So, actually, that doesn't make sense. I might, yeah, I might as well just get that Max Elixir, huh? I might as well get that Max Elixir. Because... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I might as well get that Max Elixir. So that I can use it and I still have a slot. <laughs> but the leftovers, I could also toss all the leftovers, but I guess, I guess I'm going triple lefties. I guess I'm going triple lefties. Uh triple lefties, man. I really want to toss off my leftovers. I just feel like they're a waste of a slot. Again, I'm literally only using trip- uh, but this Smeargle team is so sus, dude. I think I- this Smeargle team later on is so sus. Like, I need triple lefties on this team. Like, I need triple lefties on this team. Yo, Brock, thank you. Brock has been there since I started streaming on YouTube. They've made a lot of emotes. Thank you, Brock. They made the Whiskash and that Boom emote. This is true. I'm just thinking, is it useful? Is it is are are the lefties big enough to have to use on these later teams? I mean also this Altaria team later on really wants triple lefties. Yeah, but plush, that would have to stay on this floor. And I all of my mons want lefties. Or my um my my Illumis wants lefties. Definitely it wants lefties. I think I'm gonna keep triple lefties. I'll I'll just keep triple lefties, man. I'm just gonna keep triple lefties. It'll it'll be useful. Okay, if you want. No, I don't want to use- Oh, you mean just use it right now. Like, just use it right now. I see what you're saying. You're saying to literally use it on this floor right now. Like, you are saying to heal up my Surf and Ice Beam right now with the Max Elixir. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Man, really? Huh. That's interesting, actually. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm only Thunderbolting Gyarados, I'm realizing. I forgot that Wall Rain, I'm also just spamming Run Away. I'm just spamming trying to run away from Wall Rain. So, like... I guess that I guess that actually is kind of fun. That's actually kind of nice, huh? Because I'm not Thunderbolting these guys. I'm only Thunderbolting Gyarados on floors 5 to 7. And I'll definitely have enough Thunderbolts then. 
Yeah, that's actually interesting. Huh. Okay. That's actually so interesting. Okay, so you're saying... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I can't get rid of one of the lefties. I can't get rid of one of the lefties. That- I can't- Wait. Cause I can't- Yeah, see? I have to use my max elixir now. Which is fine. Oh, wait, uh... And I guess I'll wait till I get to the exit, right? So for this strat, I will wait to get to the exit, because I will likely have to use some more ice beams on the way to the exit. So I don't- I don't even do it now. I wait till I'm right by the exit. Look, see, look, I have to use an ice beam here. Because it just, it just, it heals Surf and, um, it, uh, Max Elixir heals Surf and Ice Beam. Whoa, that's a weird spawn. I don't like that spawn, that's a weird spawn. This is kind of spooky. I don't like the look of this spawn. Is this like double battle city right now? I mean, like, am I about to get trapped? I don't like this. I think I want to use it right now. I think I want to use it right now. I just don't feel safe. But see, I don't know when that trainer is coming. I wonder if I could kill this with Icy Wind. I don't think it's worth it. I'll just surf it. What a weird layout. There's like all these double things happening. And I just run. They don't threaten damage. Okay, I surf here. Trainers, anybody? Where are the trainers? What's up with this floor? Oh, here's one. Is it a double? No. Do I just battle your ass? I'll just battle it. Battle- uh-oh, wait, they use fighting types. Well, that's okay, I have a- I have a Illumise. I'm fine, whatever, bro. I hope you click fake out. Was this Battle Girl Marina? Was this Battle Girl Marina versus Marina? Did that- did I just see that right? No, I don't think it was. Who is this? Um... It was Elena. Ah. Battle girl Elena. Okay. Hariyama won. Alright, this can be any Hariyama. 
All right, it's any Hariyama. Do any of them even see a kill? No, they don't seem to see a kill because Hariyama is kind of weak. Oh wait, Hariyama two might see a kill. Oh, Hariyama two doesn't see a kill. How about Hariyama three? Nope, they don't see a kill. They're, a lot of them are just maybe just gonna click fake out. This is just another moment where I go into Illumise. Um, I go Illumise. If they click fake out, I can awesomely encore the fake out, which is hilarious. Um, yeah, let's do that. Cross drop, sure, whatever. Holy crit. Maybe that wasn't a crit? That really wasn't a crit, that's crazy. That's actually nuts. Well, I guess here I encore them into that cross chop. How much did that do? I don't think that was Hariyama 1 chop, was it? Oh, maybe it was? Because I was at full health. How much does Illumise heal from leftovers? I heal 334. 4 divided by 16 equals 20. So 203, 334 minus 203, 334 minus 203. 131 damage. Oh, that can't be Hariyama 1. It literally can't be Hariyama 2. It has to be Yama 3. Or Yama 4. Wow, they didn't fake out? What? Oh, because Cross Chop likes to be used more when it's super effective. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Why was this not killing before? What was I seeing? That's kind of goofy. Well, so yeah, this is Hariyama. I mean, it's either 3 or 4. It doesn't really matter doesn't matter which one it is. What matters is that um, they do see a kill with slide here. What I want to do is I want to encore them because the Needle Queen can 2 a KO with Earthquake and eats a chop. So I want to encore them right now, and I could decide to throw up a wish if they miss the chop. So, um, let's do that. Miss. Nice. That's a big miss, actually. I, I could wish if I want to. I feel like I kind of like Illumise being healthy, though. I could wish, though. I don't even hate the idea of wishing. Um, but I also just kind of want to go into Nido Queen, right? I think that also just makes a lot of sense. Ilu Mize doesn't necessarily need that much health. And Nido Queen would just be taking two chops at most. Unless they get poison points and then it's guts cross chop, which would actually be pretty bad if it's guts chop. That'd be pretty funny. Not really though. Um, I'm gonna go straight to Queen. Ah, Wish is really tempting, though. Yeah, Wish is- Wish is really tempting. Hmm, sorry. Uh... Why does it show that it's doing this one? Wait, why is cross- Oh, because that's with guts. Never mind, it's not getting guts. Also, it only has five chops. If I'm at 243, do I, like, live? Oh, no, they guaranteed to kill me right now. I'm going into Needle Queen. Nice. Now we... Okay. 
that direction? Okay. That's useful info. Little bit unhealthy. Ugh. I feel like I want to preemptively heal my Nido Queen. I think I definitely do. I think I definitely preemptively heal it. I think that makes too much sense. Ha! <laughs> There's another X Defend, I guess. Oh, I could have X Defended. Uh, I was wait, wait, where did she say it was? That direction? Okay. Okay, so then it's up. Fine, I eat that. Oh. Oh, don't look down. Where? Holy crap, more trainers. Okay, I gotta ice beam this. Okay. A lot of- There it is! Nice. Okay. Alright. Next floor. That was kind of weird. That was such a weird looking floor. Does anybody agree with me that that was like just a weird, an overall weird looking floor? Was, or is that just me? It just felt like a weird, just, it was just a weird looking floor. I don't really know what else, much else to say about it. Alright. Oh yeah, no, um, the trainers sometimes will either look in two directions, or they'll stay looking in one. They never look in all four directions, which is pretty interesting. Oh, instant exit. Okay. So now I, I still have to fight a trainer. I still have to fight a trainer. Who will I fight? Ether, nice. <laughs> well, I guess it's um. Okay, it looks like it's a bird, a breeder, Espeon, mother of God. Okay, I'm sorry. Can someone tell me what the trainer was? So, um, all right. Well, this is bad. I have. This is why I have icy wind. By the way, icy wind is important because I needed to reduce the speed of calm mind threats such as Espeon. Parish Song could have lost here. I have to ice- I had to icy wind this. So... Who was this? This is Breeder someone. Breeder Wilson. Alright, you guys. Thank you, thank you for that. Breeder Wilson. Oh! They only use Espeon 4. Okay, so Breeder Wilson is an Espeon 4 only trainer. So this actually helps us a bit. Sadly, we can get attracted, which is pretty terrible, actually. Um, what oblivious. Am I faster? Oh, I, I, none of my mons are faster. I have to Icy Wind this. That, I mean, that that's the start, right? I have to Icy Wind this. So that Needle Queen can outpace it and kill. Um, yes. I have to Icy Wind so that Needle Queen can outpace and kill. So... Yeah. Nice. Fine. I just gotta hit. I just gotta hit. That's all I gotta do. Yes. Okay, so we have a win here. Right, am I going Illumise to try to get an Encore off on it? That does sound kind of fun. I kind of like the idea of going Illumise to try to get a count- to try to get an Encore off. And then I can go back, and then I can go into, um, and I could potentially save my Mon. So, I think I like that. I think I, I think I go into Illumise. And Encore it, in case it Calm Minds again. 
And if it psychics, yeah, I die, but that's okay. Well, actually, I, I actually do live. Interesting. I do live the psychic. Which means that nothing. It literally means nothing. But, um, yeah, that doesn't mean anything. But that's okay. Yeah, it literally doesn't mean anything. Um, the Lumise also, um, baits attract. Uh, which I wouldn't really want to encore, though. Even though I actually would want to encore that because then I'm oblivious. Also, encore beating... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Okay, hold on. So I, I think... Yeah, and I don't want to lose my Lapras. So let's just go into Illumise. <laughs> oh, man. Illumise going crazy right now. This is so funny. I love this. Not, no magic bouts in Gen 3. Now I just win. Toss, toss, toss. Bright powder. Do I have to encore it again? Please don't end. Ah, oh, I have to encore again. That's lame. I think that's... I think... I think using encore again is... Or, oh, wait, do I kill this? Wait. No, don't... Wait. Wait, wait, no, 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 I kill it. Do I not kill it? I... No, I just kill it. Because if I got... Two seismics off, the third seismic kills. Does Encore have an accuracy check? Well, yes. Yeah, no, I just, I literally just Encore and kill it. I mean, Seismic and kill it. That doesn't look like 36. Does anybody else feel like this doesn't look like 36? Or like, I mean, this thing has 71 health right now? Dude, wait, what? I'm, this is off. Why is this off? But it literally can't. So. What? Huh? Oh, I used Icy Wind in one seismic. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, I, I didn't use double seismic. I used icy wind and one psychic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So seismic doesn't kill here. I need to encore. Yeah. Double the. What? Was this thing like zero IVs? No, wait, no, no, I did seismic twice, didn't I? No, 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 I seismic it twice. Wait. Yeah, whatever. That's bizarre. I don't really want to think about that, but that is kind of bizarre. Now it's north, okay. That is, that was kind of bizarre. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm really kind of confused on what just happened there. Wait, was that not max IVs then? Was that not max IVs? But why did that seismic kill? Why did seismic kill? There's no way I did... There's no way Icy Wind did 71 damage. No, not my... I, I, what? Uh, dude, I literally, dude, that had to be, that had, there had to be something with the EVs. Because Icy Wind literally could not do that much damage.
No, it doesn't kill. Dude, okay, so Double Toss takes this Espeon down to 71 HP. Icy Wind does not do 26% after plus one special defense. So I guess that was some sort of like no IV randomness. The only way I did that much is if this didn't have IVs. Look! Look, that's the only way! High roll, zero IVs. That's- that's weird. Yeah, huh. Whatever. That way. Oh. Okay, let's just run. Holy crap. Wait, did I know where the exit was on this floor? No. Here we go. Oh, well, there's a wasted surf. I'm not fishing for items. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. Is this a double battle floor? Please to God, dude. I don't want to do a double battle right now. My team is not ready for a double battle, man. Something like that? Yeah, that's so weird. Oh god, dude, I don't want to double battle. Am I ready? Do I have a- do I use a different lead? I think I just fucking go for it. No, it's just one, thank god. Holy crap, it's just one, it's just one, it's just one. For now, unless the other person was somehow looking the other way. Psychic Dario sent out Metagross. Well, let's just see if this is every single Metagross first off, because that's pretty terrible. Psychic Dario. Metagross one. Yeah, it's every Metagross, bro. Every single Metagross. Okay, buddy. Um. Wow. Well, Needle Queen does kill this. Uh, is a good thing. Well, sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Damn. Okay, what's the play then? Um. I kind of want to go. I think Illumise lives anything. Yeah, I live anything. I'm faster. And then I could seismic toss it so that it gets into range, which would keep my Lapras alive. I think I'm- I think I would- Do I want to sacrifice my Illumise to this? Oh, what if it, like, freaking double teams or something stupid, man? Could also X defend here. Is that the worst idea? Could also X defend my Lapras here. Which- might be okay? I have- I have shell armor as well. Huh. Yeah, and I'm faster than every single Metagross except the Meta 5. I don't really know what that does for me, though. Well... I can surf on every Metagross. Yeah, I could have some eggplant. Ugh. I mean, I could- I could also just go hard into Nido Queen. I could hard Nido, and then Seismic Toss with Illumise. Uh, do I- really? Okay, well, what if it's that, uh, Rock Slide Metagross, huh? What if it's Meta- I think that's what, Meta 6? Oh, what is the meta four maybe? The mashless rock slide one? Is that meta five? Yeah, meta five will probably rock slide my Lapras. How much does Illumise take from that slide? 
it lives. And then I toss it. I let Illumise die as I go into Jessica. I think Illumise does its job at half health. Oh, dude, Espeon 1 wouldn't even explain it, right? How would Espeon 1 explain it? Because I missed. Espeon 1 doesn't have Bright Powder. I missed. I literally missed Seismic Toss Plush. It has to be Espeon 4. It has to be Espeon 4. I missed Seismic Toss. What's up, Fate Fell Short? Yeah, I think I want to go into Illumise. I think I go Illumise. And I sacrifice off Illumise. I think Lapras lead is too important. Am I wrong here? I don't think I'm wrong. What's the worst that Metagross can do to me right now? Like, what if it's that stupid double team set? Or like... I'm going to Lumise. Nice, it earthquake. Okay, why did it not mash? That tells us a lot. Because now I can actually just encore this. Why did it not? Okay, that means it's that, uh, um. Is it this one? It has to be meta 7, right? I mean, I think it has to be meta 7. Yeah, I mean, I think it's objectively meta 7. Yeah, it's, it's objectively meta 7. Yep. Objectively meta 7 is what I'm saying right now. Can't be meta 8. Meta 8... Meta 8 would have mashed. It has mashed. This is meta... This is meta gross 7. Okay. Meta gross 7... Um, rolled a, a higher roll with Earthquake over Thunder Punch. Um... Not doing that much to Illumise. I could probably encore Wish Seismic Toss this thing. Um, yeah, encore is really great. It makes this Illumise very Illumise very cool. Well, actually, Nido Queen kills this. No, it doesn't. Um, I guess. I could technically seismic toss. I could like encore wish toss. Encore, encore wish toss. Wait till encore runs out. Then it'll shadow ball into needle. Do I do anything encore here related? I don't like that encore is getting run out, but. I'm just... I mean, okay, so... LRX, pineapple on pizza? Absolutely not. What is it gonna do to... It's gonna Shadow Ball me. Shadow Ball does the most damage, guaranteed. And I drop to two Shadow Balls, which I don't like, personally. But Earthquake, I can Encore, Wish, Seismic Toss. Can I... Can I Encore... Can I Encore, Wish, Toss, Toss, like, or Encore? Encore, Wish, like, Encore, Wish, Seismic. And then I just wait for that Encore to end, because then it's going to click Shadow Ball, and then that's when I pivot into Nidoqueen. I am a pineapple hater. I, I do not like pineapple. Yeah, what do you guys think, huh? Sorry, guys. Sorry for that. Um... But... I could also just let... Another thing that I could do, which I don't... I, I could also just simply wish up... Wish with Illumise right now. 
No, dude, but then again, I, I need damage with from Needle Queen. Needle Queen needs some chip. And so... Wait, so then, yeah, wait, why don't I just Seismic and then go into Needle Queen? That kind of makes more sense, right? Seismic, go into Needle Queen. And I'll, I'll just have to take a Shadow Ball. That's not, that's not the end of the world. Like, the world doesn't end because I have to do that. I think I just Seismic, go into Needle Queen, right? This is an important pull now. Pineapple on pizza pole, everybody. Dude, pineapple is too tropical for me. Or, like, it's too, like, acidic. I don't know how to put it. I just don't like the pineapple. I really don't. I like pineapple in alcoholic drinks, but I don't like it outside of that for some reason. Yeah, I'm just gonna seismic this, and I'll just let Illumise take the damage. Yep, here comes the ball from Meta 7. I think it's Shell Bell, if I recall. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so now Illumise heals a bit. Let's go into Needle Queen. That's fine, whatever. Now I just Earthquake and kill it. Nice, okay. All right, so we all played that. We did take some help or some damage that we didn't really want to take, but that's fine. You know, sometimes that just happens. Psychic Dario. That way. Holy crap, 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 crap. Do I preemptively heal Needle Queen? I kind of want to. What do you guys think? I feel like I kind of want to preemptively heal Needle Queen. I, I just feel like that's the safe play, right? I feel like that's the safe play. I think I think that's the safe play. Let's preemptively heal the queen. Ah. I couldn't do anything about that. Even even if I, I, I literally couldn't do anything about that. I, that was like a trap. I couldn't do anything about that. Oh my gosh, dude. Really? It's every single Starmie as well. Good lord, man. Okay. Uh... Uh, I don't think I'm allergic. Maybe. I don't know. It, this is truly 50-50. You guys are actually split on this. 60 votes. Pineapple on pizza. That's crazy. You know what's not very fun? This Starmie on my screen right now. So... Pretty sure I eat two Thunderbolts. Not really. I, I need to Icy Wind into Thunderbolt is what I recall is my play. Um... No, why am I speed tied? Oh yeah, I knew it was a speed tie. Never mind, I'm silly. I knew it was a speed tie after Icy Wind. I mean, pfft, bah, 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 bah. but I know that after an Icy Wind, that Nido Queen can revenge it. So I'll let Lapras take a Thunderbolt. I yeah, I'll let Lapras take a Thunderbolt, but. Um, that's okay if it has Thunderbolt. I'll let Lapras take a Thunderbolt. And then, um, what about Starmie on Pizza? Well, that's, that's different. That's interesting. That's an interesting idea. Starmie on Pizza is interesting. Starmie 1, yeah. Good lord. Yeah, what if it is Starmie 1? Starmie 1 would actually be kind of annoying. See, I just don't want to switch directly into a Psychic. Which would, which would happen on Starmie 1. Oh, I guess it would only happen on Starmie 1. And Starmie 7, but I think Starmie 7 wants the cosmic power here. I think I still Icy Wind. Does Nido Queen KO? Weak ass Nido Queen. I knew you didn't. I knew you weren't good enough to KO Nido Queen. I knew you weren't good enough.
Ah, for, yeah, man. I got an icy win though. Either way. Fucking hell, it's cosmic. Okay, well, I've got to icy wind and then go into Illumise and uh, Encore. But this is why we have Encore Illumise on this team. This team is very weak to stally strategies. All right. So we know it's not the left. I don't think where the, did any of the left though. Did any of the yeah, Starmy 8 is Cosmic Power. But then, what about Starmy 7? I mean, I just gotta hope they don't attack me, right? Do I ever Thunderbolt twice here, actually? Do I just go for double T-Bolt here? That minus one. But they have Cosmic up. But I still 2 KO with Thunderbolt. Maybe that's my play. Because I don't want to... I don't think I want to lose Illumise. Yeah, but they're so likely to Cosmic Power here. Huh. I hate the speed ties, man. The speed tie stuff is annoying, right? Is Starmy fleshy like a regular C star or solid? Oh, that's a good question. Is Starmy fleshy or solid? Okay, but what have you guys seen it in Pokemon Stadium? Like it's its legs do kind of like what I mean? They kind of do that, so I don't think it's solid. Maybe it's kind of like a um Maybe it's like flexible, but like firm, kind of like a, uh, I don't know. I was going to say something, but crunchy. I think it's like, I don't know, like rubber. I think Starmie is rubber. Okay, um, am I going into Illumise for no reason? Put a deep. Is Cosmic Power considered a special defense boost? It is. Really wants the Cosmic again. So I like using Encore Illumise here. Nice. Got your ass, Illumise. Or Starmie. Ready to get three KO'd. While I heal up. No, not the Bright Powder miss. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, that did not just happen. Okay. Um. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, then. That's terrible. So we know it's Starmie 7. Wow, that was terrible. An Encore Bright Potter miss. Does Nido Queen live? Probably not. No fucking hell. And Earthquake does nothing. Okay, what do I- I mean, how do I even... Do I have to, like, fucking ma- I mean, like... Dude, I gotta max revive- I gotta, like... See, they're never gonna Ice Beam, they're only gonna Psychic. That's terrible. Um, dude, that's so terrible. Hold on a second. Buy Sigma, sure. If I mean, if you wanted to, yeah, that that could be. Maximum Paso, what's up?
Yeah, what's my play? I mean, it has to be going into Lapras, right? I have to go into Lapras. Not Max reviving his ass, though. I've just got to... I've got to seismic toss it down. I mean, I, I have to revive Illumise, I think. Oh, by Sigma with the five gifted. I should get, I'll give you four nicknames for that one, Phi Sigma. You got it. Four nicknames. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Three nicknames. You got three nicknames for five. Thank you for the five gifted. Hope you guys enjoy. Look at that. Look at all the new members. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. I know someone else did this before, so that's like, what, 42? Let's go. So Viper is Lucy, you got it. So Viper will be Lucy. So Viper is somewhat coming up. Where do I have Saviper? So Viper is Lucy, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about him. Think about him. My beautiful Pike Queen. Okay. Oh man. Man, you guys. I feel like I have to revive. I want to basically make Starmie recover, and then I want to encore that recover. That's what I want to do. So I'm gonna revive my Illumise first. I wanna, I want to recover, encore the recover, when, and I can force it to recover. This is fine. So. Oh wait, it'll never want to recover if it's faster. So I have to Icy Wind it again so that it's slower because there's a weird glitch with HP recovering moves that if they are faster, it is a minus three score. I mean, um, it is a minus eight score. So I need to Icy Wind it again so that it actually wants to recover. This is fine. Nice, no Bright Powder miss. Right, I just gotta pressure it. I mean, yeah, Lapras is gonna have to die, but I just, I have to pressure it right now. With, um... Yeah. Oh, wait, did it get a Spadef drop? No, it didn't. But it, it might see a kill with the incoming Psychic. I got a Thunderbolt here. Para. Oh, that's actually bad. No. Well, not really. It's going to kill here. So I, maybe Thunderbolt into Seismic kills, actually. That's not actually bad. That's actually fine. I sac... Or I could just double T-Bolt. Wait, wait, do they see a kill with Psychic? Yes. So they will go for the Psychic onto my Lapras. But I also get Thunderbolt into a... Hopefully, Illumise can freaking hit its move. And Seismic Toss. So... Yeah. That's fine. Thank goodness. <sighs> okay. Gotta revive Marina. Which is unfortunate. Also, I really gotta pee. I will I will be right back, you guys. Give me let me start a fun poll while I do this. Um, 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 um,
This is a battle of the buds. Is Volbeat or Illumai is better? All right, I'll be right back, you guys. Right, 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 right back. I'm back. Ugh. How we doing? Yo, dude, how are you all these polls 50-50 for you guys? You guys are like literally just like dead even on everything. Holy crap of my ma ba boli. You guys are dead even on everything. Ludicolo Mirror B. You got it. Okay. my lab just a bit. Ah. Stop it. Okay. On floor five, I don't feel like healing my Lapras necessarily right now. Even though I have to do two more trainer battles. Ugh. But I'll heal versus some wild mons. Main, well, I guess I don't have a Quagsire. I have a, um, I could heal on the silly wall ring that does no damage to me. I don't know. Can you get out of the way though? Where is it? That way? No more trainers, please. Hyper potion. 
Uh, maybe I will use a Hyper on my Lapras. Uh. Uh, maybe I should. Maybe it's tell. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign. Holy crap. Oh, there it is. Am I risking items? Risking items? No. Just get to the exit. Okay. Floor six. Yeah, I want to see the first shiny. I want to see a shiny. I'm with you. Ah, I should just hyper this, man. I'm just gonna hyper it. I'll need it for a trainer battle. I'll need it. Which, again, I'm forcing a trainer battle for every floor, so... Oh, no. Oh, not a fighting person. Mother of God, again. I mean, same deal, right? Instant Ill Illumise. Counter. Good night. I can Encore Toxic Wish. I won't even Seismic Toss. Yeah, I'll toxic it, right? Toxic, right? I want to toxic this. Just slowly wear it down. Yes. The Encore is still going. Nice, let's wish up. This Illumise is crazy. Counter, yup. I'm not speeding through because I want to see the text box. If it is hurt by, if it does end. Nice, okay. So now, um, I can Seismic Toss if I want to, because um, Seismic Toss doing 100, I'll take 200 back, but Wish will heal me back up. So I could Seismic Toss here. Um, I'm not switching out. I can't switch out. I also just don't want to... Do I toss? I think I might as well just toss. If I live. Then the wish goes. I wonder what, what text box goes first. Encore or Toxic? Okay, so Toxic does come before Encore, which is interesting. And there's still Encore, so I can just wish. Yep. No, I healed my- I healed my Lapras. Uh, Encore didn't end, but I'm still just gonna Seismic it. Okay, it's that way. Nice. Wait, what is this floor on? Yeah, okay. I think you guys think Volbeat is better. Do I just go for it? Uh, do I go for the exit? Or do I fish for some items? 
Oh, here's the T-ball. Ah! I could really- I could definitely get away with this. I kind of want to just fish for items. Feels smart. PP does not restore, no. Oh no. Alright, maybe I'll regret this. Alright. I'm not really regretting it. It's just again, I just go here. Drop miss. <clears throat> Cross drop again. And then I go into Nido Queen. You guys know the deal. Ariyama does its thing. I go into Nido Queen and I click a. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, that didn't feel worth it. Oh, stop stalling it. Stop it. Okay. Okay. Trying to make me uncomfortable, Flareon. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'll just go. Up. Oh shit, is this a, a gauntlet? It's a fucking gauntlet, okay. Um, so I need to find a way out. I think I'm fine with Hiker. Oh wait, can he? This dude can't look down. So I, I can safely go like, I can safely go like, uh, this. Okay. Bryce sent out Regice. Okay. Alright, Bryce is Regice. Mother of God, okay. Um. You're for real, Bryce, huh? That's crazy, man. Okay. Reggie Bryce. Okay. Well, this is where I would have loved Parish Song. I gotta go I gotta go Lara and Encore a Thunderbolt. I only have one left. Hmm. Like if it's Reg Ice one. Thunderbolt does. I live Thunderbolt. If I had Parasong Lapras, that would be huge, but obviously I needed. You've seen Ice Wind to be useful. But again, Nido Queen has shown its stuff here because of the electric immunity, and I could just superpower its ass twice. I mean, I, I just go Lara. Don't T-wave me. Fuck. Ugh. It's Red Ice 3 or Red Ice 4. Good lord, man. Okay. Well, again, the only ones that have T-Wave are Reg Ice 3 and Reg Ice 4. One of these Reg Ices will kill Illumise, and Reg Ice 3 has Lum, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure Reg Ice 3 is Lum. 
If it's Reg Ice 4, I need to Toxic it before it starts double teaming. Like, I need to Toxic it before it starts double teaming or I could lose the game. Um... Okay. So I, I have to Toxic it. Because, no, I would lose... Oh, actually, 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 I have a genius idea, actually. You know what's hilarious? You know why I don't lose, actually, to that Regice? So, the Regice has leftovers, right? So, you could imagine Lapras and Regice are in a stall battle where they're both struggling, but their leftovers are healing. However, I have an unintended trick up my sleeve. Poison Point Needle Queen. If Regice 4 starts struggling... It'll struggle hit Poison Point, and then I can win the 1v1 with a Struggling Lapras. The problem with Struggling Lapras is, of course, I have to burn, um, four Ethers, but, like, you know what? At this point, whatever, man. So... And that's if it's Regice 4, so I guess I technically don't have the Toxic Regice 4 right now. Yeah, I technically don't have the Toxic Regice 4. But I want to. How much does Red Ice 4 actually do to Lapras though? Because I do have shell armor, so I can't get crit. It does nothing, and it'll never ever be able to do it'll never ever be able to do more. And then struggle will hit poison points, and I can get that. So the real threat, I guess, is Red Ice 3 doing damage, but can I stall out Red Ice 3? But it has Ice Beam Thunderbolt, right? So right here it wants to Ice Beam. Because it sees a kill on a Lumise. Lapras eats that Ice Beam, and then I just pivot between Lapras and Nidoqueen on Ice Beam T Bolt, Ice Beam T Bolt. Um, eventually, T Bolts will run out. No, oh, Ice Beams will run out first, so then it only has T Bolt. And then, actually, when it only has T Bolt, I can then go into Jessica, and I'd have to sacrifice it to a boom. So. I'd have to sacrifice Red Nido Queen to a boom, more than likely. Yeah, they would boom, because they can't T-Wave. They can't Thunderbolt. They would boom on the Nido Queen, which at that point, like whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> actually, you know what I do at that point? This is genius. You know what I would do at that point, actually? So if they're gonna boom on Nido Queen, instead of actually attacking with Nido Queen, I can use an X Defend in my bag on the turn that it's going to boom. And then I save damage on Nido Queen the most possible. That's actually hilariously cool. I would I would X defend at the last second. Oh, that's so sick. Wait a second, that's so sick. Just to preserve damage. Wow. Okay, that's pretty sick. All right. Those are my plans versus all these red ices. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is thick. Uh, yeah, so again, versus my Illumise right now, 194 health, it's gonna Ice Beam me. Pretty much it's gonna Ice Beam. There's nothing else it would do except Boom, I guess. Um, no, so Regice 3 has Lum, and I can, I can beat Regice 3 without having to Toxic it. Regice 4, I would win in a, in a large stall battle. I would win in a very large stall battle. So right now I'm going Lapras. No, Toxic doesn't help in the scenario where I lose my Illumi Illumise to Regice 3. It doesn't doesn't help. Why would I why would I why would I sacrifice my Illumise to Regice 3? That doesn't then I'd have to use a revive, and that's just why. Why would I why would I do that? I, I don't need to I don't want to use a revive. Revives are important. I don't want to use a revive. I don't need to use a revive. So if it's if it's Regice 4, 
is Reg Ice 4, then so be it. And I'll just I'll just win the stall battle with Lapras. Um Yeah, I'll win the stall battle with Lapras. Um Oh, I'd have to make sure not to T-bolt it. Oh, it can get paralyzed by T-bolt though. Ooh, wait a second, wait a second. Um well, okay. No, no. Can I stall out its moves without using the T-Bolt? I think I can stall out its moves without using T-Bolt, right? Red Ice 4. Yeah. 10, 10, 15, 20. That's 40. That's 55. I have 48 plus 16. is 64. Oh, wait, wait. No, no. I have a... Let's see. 21, 11. That's 32. 32 plus 14 is 46. So I'd have to use an Aether on Mariana just so that I can keep using moves. And then I'd purposely not Thunderbolt Regice so that I don't paralyze it. And instead, I can get the Poison Point off from Nidoqueen. That's pretty sick. All right. So I'm going back to Lapras, yes. Okay, it ice beamed. Yep. Let's see how much this does. We'll be able to know which one it is. 401s. That did 41 damage to Lapras. 41 damage to Lapras. Alright, it's Regice 3 guaranteed. Yeah, we're gonna have to stall this out. So, members, you know what time it is. Did someone say notepad time? It also could just boom at any time in this scenario, but... Yeah, this is Regice 3. Because it did uh, 41 damage with that. Let's go. Reg Ice 3. As Ice Beam. Thunderbolt. Thunder Wave. Doesn't matter about the last one. 1 out of 10. 0 out of 15. Right? That's how it works. Yep. Then we have 1 out of 15 Thunder Waves. 1 out of 20 Thunder Waves. Then Explosion. 0 out of 5. Zero out of five, boom. That doesn't matter, because they're gonna... If they boom, they're gonna hit it. So, now, yeah, let's just stall it out. Oh, let me show you the notepad. My bad. I forgot to show the notepad. Hold on, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Here we go. Stall, stall, stall. There's a T-Wave. Alright, there's a T-Wave. There's a nice beam. Can't get crit again. So we're healing good damage off of that. Thunder Wave doesn't affect this again. When will Red Jice give up and click Explosion? We don't know. Another Thunder Wave. I mean, I'm fine with it not using T-Bolts, I guess. And I could eat these Ice Beams. I don't think it's ever going to be too much. Like, I'm Ice Beam is actually doing more than Lefties, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I'll be fine. Another Thunder Wave. That's five T Waves. Here we go. There's an Ice Beam. That's five Ice Beams. And I can't get crit because I have Shell Armor. There's another Thunder Wave, that's six. They really want to slow down that Lapras, but I'm not letting that happen. They're ice Beaming again, that's six Ice Beams. There's another Thunder Wave, that's seven. Back to Lapras. On the Ice Beam, that's seven Ice Beams. 
Back to Needle Queen on the Thunder Wave. That's eight T waves. Back to Lapras on the Ice Beam. We just gotta eat two more Ice Beams, which we guarantee do, because we literally cannot get crit. There's another Thunder Wave. That's crazy that it has decided to Thunder Wave every single time. I really thought there would be at least one moment where they try to Thunderbolt. That's pretty funny. Nine Ice Beams. There's a Thunder Wave that's 10. All right. This is the last Ice Beam. That's 10 Ice Beams. It is. All right, so now they can only Thunderbolt and T-Waves, which they will click Thunderbolt or T-Wave. As we go back into Jessica, they Thunder Wave. Now they don't know what to do, so here we are purposely going to X Defend. Oh, they Thunder Waved again! Um, well, how, how many items do I have in my bag? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to get rid of one of these for Choice Band. I might as well just, like, stock up on all these X Defends, right? Right? Oh, I can only use it once. Oh, no, I can use it multiple times. Okay. I guess it doesn't boom? I guess it literally doesn't boom. I did not know this. I actually... I did not know it boomed. I thought it would boom... I thought it would try to boom maybe once, but I guess not. Nice. Okay, well, whatever. Oh! Ah, you were, I was supposed to wait for you to move! I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Motherfucking god, why are all the Reggies here? I was supposed to wait for it to move, I was supposed to wait for it to move, whatever, 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 whatever. I mean, this is just any Reggie rock, right? Um... Surely I just go Nido Queen and pummel this thing, right? Like, what, what in the world are you going to do to Needle Queen? Nice. Get destroyed, Reggie Rock, using counter my ass. Reggie Rock. Probably Rock 4. No, no, what is that? Reggie Rock 2? Guaranteed Rock 2. Okay. And 53, then does Lapras guaranteed take it out? Yes. This is fine. Nope. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, hiker man. Don't you dare go down. I swear if you go down. Okay. But it's up, so I gotta go up. It's fine, I get lefties. I get lefties, that's fine. Get to that echo. Oh, I gotta take off the notepad. My bad. Notepad time is done. over here. Nope. Thunderbolt. Wait, I don't think it's here then. I think he would have said it was left. Oh, never mind. All right. Uh, do I fish for items? Do I fish for items? I feel like I can, right? What's up, Team Sky? I could go for some items down here, right? Like, why not? The 
let's just see. Ooh, that's more trainers. Maybe I'm good. Oh wait, uh... There you go. Hey, that was worth it. There's another one. Oh. I mean... I guess I might as well Lepa... Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I might as well use a Lepa Berry on my, um... Lapras is... Surf right now, right? Like, doesn't really matter. Yeah, just in case, because I'll probably... I mean, I don't need to use it right now, but... Okay. Let's get out. Let's get out. Anything up here? It's fine. I think I decided there wasn't, right? Yeah, let's just get to the exit. Let's just let's just get out of here. Holy! All right, good floor. All right, nice. We're going on to the next one. What do you mean this item's full? What? Oh. Nice, you guys. All right, let's get to round 13. Ooh, bug floor. And it's this crazy team with Parish Song Wigglytuff. Stay here. Stay here. We are literally going to do this. Yes. Let's do it, guys. We're doing, yeah, we're doing the Parish Song Wigglytuff vibes with the lead Zard. That will purposefully, by the way, be subbing, taking Choice Band off, and then I'll be subbing down to a certain HP so that I have Blaze Choice Band Charizard. This is going to be crazy. Take off the Choice Band to sub down. It's going to be nuts, you guys. Let's do it. All right, here we go. This is going to be nuts. You guys aren't ready for this. There's a 0% chance you guys are ready for this. Here we go. It's going to be nuts. It'll make sense, I promise. What did you guys name this thing? We named it... Uh, we named it Balrog. Oh yeah, we have a Street Fighter theme here. We have a Street Fighter theme for this team, so that's pretty sick. Balrog, Shun Li, and Gil. Balrog? And dude, this- Shun Li? This thing does look like Shun Li, so I, I approve. And then Gil, because yeah, Wigglytuff definitely looks like Gil. Or Gil, whatever, however you say it, I don't know. Quazussi, take us back. Okay, you guys, you guys ready for this? This is nuts. This is gonna be very, very cool. I'm. This is the first time we're trying a strategy like this. Let's just see how it goes. Let's see how it works out. If it does work out, hopefully it does work out. Please work out. Um, 
Guile, my bad. Guile! So the plan against the Shuckle is, um, so I only have to deal with Shuckle on floors one and two. So I, I, um, on floors one and two, I do just click, uh, on floors one and two, um, wait, what was my plan? I had a plan versus Shuckle. I'm forgetting what it was. Oh, it was simply to click substitute and then just run away for Shuckle. It was just substitute, run away, um... Oh, no, no, uh, yes. I forgot what, wait, what was my plan versus Shuckle? No, 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 it was, uh, um, my plan versus Shuckle was the sub to block Toxic Earthquake and Protect, yes. And I could even put a Leftovers on Charizard at first, because Flamethrower kills Pineco Shuckle Venomoth. So, yes, that was the play. However, I did want to be at lowest health. I think it's because I kill Shuckle. What's up, Gabby? Oh, thank you. Why am I forgetting what my exact plan was versus this? So again, the exact plan versus Shuckle. This is a great question. I know that my general idea was I want to be subbed down into Blaze range with three subs. Um, and then... Um, I have Banded Rock Slide in case I face a trainer with Moltres. Um, because Moltres kind of owns this team. Um, yeah. Another fun thing about this team is that, uh, this Wigglytuff is specifically female because this team sucks versus Arcanine. Arcanine's o Arcanine is most of the time male. And in Gen 3, Overheat is a physical, is a contact move. Overheat is contact in Gen 3. So if they E-speed and then try to overheat my Wigglytuff, that is two chances of getting Cute Charm off, which is exactly what we want. So yeah, that's pretty funny. I thought you guys would... I thought you guys would... Um, yeah, no, it was it because I just killed it with Blaze. I know there was a reason... Hold on, Shuckle 1. What's that? No, not Shuckle 1. Shuckle with 0... Level 100. Yeah. Plays. Yes, it's because I usually... I kill every Shuckle with Blast Burn was the idea. But also, I feel like there was something else that I'm missing. I forgot when I... I put the Choice Band on when Shuckle doesn't exist anymore. So I think I... If I recall, I'm purposely not putting a Choice Band on my Zard. Um, until until the shuckle thing is done because versus shuckle what I can do is I can sub on wild shuckle and then I just try to run away uh, or yeah I mean I could just sub use a flamethrower maybe they can't break sub with toxic earthquake protect they literally cannot break sub um, but I think my idea in high and now now that I have the power of leftovers on my side where I can use leftovers on all three of these mods is I can leftovers at the start um because again, I'm really, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really only, but I wanted, I wanted to be in blaze range versus trainers. So now it's it. I wanted to be in blaze range versus trainers. Yeah, because I wanted to be in blaze range versus, remember, I wanted to be in blaze. I also have like a shit ton of lumberries at this point. So I could also just be like, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I also have a shit ton of Lumberries at this point, so I could also just not care. Does that make sense? Yes. Makes sense to me. Yes. So I, I'm purposely not putting Choice Band on um, my Charizard right now to sub it to 26% health. So that I am I am fine versus quick attacks from Scizor. Um and I don't instantly die to Toxic, but I'm still in Blaze. Yeah. 
I mean, hell, I could even Lumberry on Zard right now if I really... That doesn't make sense, though. I don't need to Lumberry on Zard. Well, versus trainer battles, if I'm not going choice band... Right, if I'm... Wait a second. Why, I'm like, I feel like I'm tripping myself up right now. I only can put choice band on, I guess, before on floor three and later. Because I don't want lefties to take myself out of blaze. So, um... No, I didn't want it to be divisible by four. Well, no, no, there's a reason that I didn't want it to be like that. I forgot what it was. Maybe there isn't. You guys, everybody look at this, this Blossom and tell me it's not thirdly cool. And it, I am scared to use this team, you guys. What was I- now, again, I'm trying to think versus- I don't want Choice Band on it now. Yeah, so that's- that's fine. Yes. All right, here we go. Now I can sub. So now I can sub so that I'm down into Blaze Ranger, which is where I want to be. I decided that for trainer battles, I want to be a Charizard with a Blaze Blast Burn to just like kill everything in sight. This is what I decided I wanted. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. And now, of course, I can't keep subbing here, but that's okay. Trying to get a wild encounter without seeing a trainer. Trying to get a wild encounter without seeing a trainer. Alright, so I actually have to- I have to kill this one because of Quick Attack. Alright, I see this is fine. This is right, right? And then I get one more sub off? Yes. Is that a... Yeah, here we go. Sub again. Explosion. There you go. Nice. Okay. And now... Now I give it a choice band. Yes, there you go. All right, this is what we wanted. Yes, all right. Now we are in blaze range. things. Oh, hello. Oh. Revive. Huge. That's going to be important for Zard. Uh, no, that is so immense. Oh, go away, Granny. I don't want Granny. Is this a double? Not trying to battle Granny. Annoying. Annoying. So annoying. Stupid. Ah! Now 
Now I just gotta hope... Fuck, I can't, uh... I guess that doesn't even make sense now. How do I even heal this up now? This is the quick attack scissor. That's really annoying, actually. I totally didn't even think about that. Ah. I would have to wait till I get to a... Shuckle right now. I would have to wait to get to a shuckle. I just want to shuckle. My strategy is not coming to light like I want it to. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little weird on this fucking hill. It's fine. Just bring out a Moltres. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, this is why we have Wiggly Tough to then do shit and perish song his ass. Is D Claw. Alright, so hopefully. See what we get. This is Altaria 1. How I did 71 damage with D Claw. Oh, so it's still. It actually could be Altaria 1. That that does that's okay because we um I mean we don't really care. We don't yeah, we don't really care that much because um No. Man, this strategy is kind of sus. I'm not going to lie. I'm realizing this team comp is kind of sus right now. Um very sus. That's okay. I I just gotta perish his ass. Oh, first I gotta protect. Oh, it is okay. So it's a it's Altaria one. So I'm actually not that scared of this. Um. So if I wanted to, I can four KO with seismic. It has cherry berry. Yeah, I'm not afraid of this at all. So, I'll just toss this thing a bunch of times. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Not doing shit to me. And I'll protect. Fine. Protect. Fine. I am gonna use a hyper potion on this, so I do want to protect. Exit is somewhere in that direction. Oh, this is so sus! Oh my gosh, dude. I am really... This, that, that, I didn't really... The quick attack scissor is so annoying. I just have to hope I don't see it again. That's really what I gotta hope for. That direction. Fine, okay. Flames. Revive. I'm, hey, the revives are making me feel better about this, though. Definitely. Do it again. That's right. You won't. Gotta watch out for trainers still. Up more? What? Where? What am I missing? Oh, whoa, item alert. Bright powder's kind of funny. Is bright powder worth it over banded rock slide, which is literally just for other Charizard and Moltres? Is Bright Powder worth it on Zard? Which is, again, other Charizard and Moltres. I don't think. I think I keep the band slide. I keep the band slide.
Thanks, INS. Yeah, it's interesting. It, it's a it's a it's an interesting challenge for sure. Bright powder. I don't need bright powder. So I mean I could keep it, but let's just see what this is. Oh! Oh you fucker. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. Alright, well let's just burn. Burn the expert. That real bro, is that a real thing that's happened just now? That is absurdly terrible as terribleness can be terrible. Okay. Whatever, we got Blossom. Still super stupidly annoying though. If Blossom likes taking these hits, but you know, Leech Seed will do the job, so. Is that a... Why did that do so much? That did a stupid amount of damage. We're gonna Leech. Mother of God, you did not. Holy crap. I just got focused on... Dude, that thing, that thing just destroyed me. I got got, definitely. And then it's Regirock 5. That's the only one with Focus Punch, I think, right? Regirock 4. Yeah, it's Regirock 5. Okay, so it's Regirock 5. Um... But I can still just Synthesis. Yeah, that's fine. I, I mean, maybe I'll Giga Drain at some point soon. Doing a lot. I could Giga Drain here. Alright, I'll Giga again here. Nice. Alright, whatever. We didn't even lose that much. Hyper Potion, sure. Good lord. Ugh. Alright. Still do have to deal with Scizor on this floor. Um, this is scary, man. We still have to deal with Scizor on this floor. Whew! All right, you guys, we're moving. We're moving and we're cruising. We're doing this, you guys. We got this. All right. So again, our banded rock slide Zard for Z other Zards and Moltres specifically. The next Brandon fight will be on round 15. I think it's unlikely that I, to be honest, that I'm going to hit round 15 today just because I had an hour plus long Tyranitar battle. That I would have, but yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're not fishing for items on this one. I want to find the exit, like, right away. Oh, item. Nice. Hyper Potion. We're stocking up on those a bit. Lumberries we're very fine with. Um... Yep, here we go. Slow down, maybe a little bit. Case of trainers. Not seeing any. <sighs> oh, whatever. Let's, let's see if we can outpace and kill it. That's not something we like to see in particular, is it now? Um, so, I mean, I can't kill it. Um, it's It could click anything now. I have to go just straight into my... Wigglytuff, click Perish Song, and then go into Blossom. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, isn't that crazy, Plush? Let's go into Wiggly. Psychic. That's worst case scenario. That's okay, though. Protect. It's amnesia. Oh, okay, that's not bad then. That's actually pretty good for us if that's if that's that's slow king one then. I'm I'm very fine with this. The very simple then just let's perish. Sure, I guess. I mean three three well seismic protect swap to I don't even need to Seismic. I could just protect... Psychic, sure. Two, two. And we swap into Blossom. Sure. 
one, one, and then we click protect. Good night. And that's why Parish Song Wigglytuff is super important for this team. You guys just witnessed it live. Let's go. That direction? Okay. Is there a double battle here somewhere? Oh, trainer, or item. X speed? Oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't think I... Is it more useful than Bright Powder? I feel like the answer is yes. The answer has got to be yes, right? I think the answer is yes. Nice. Another Lum. Okay, let's watch out for trainers. Oh, here comes Mr. Shuckle. Don't toxic me. Nice. Okay. Okay, we're running. No more s or what? Well, we do have to face Scizor still, but now we don't have to worry about like Shuckle toxic stuff, so... Oh yeah, dude, dude, yeah, round 22 is crazy. Oh, 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 we don't want to face a hiker. I am not feeling like that. And it's a double battle too. Okay. Another X speed, I guess. face a psychic though either damn who am i facing what's up not truto no whiteouts yet no um how do i who do i face maybe i just go into the psychic trainer I really don't want it to be Espeon, though. Oh, well, I guess I messed up. Ah, never mind, get destroyed. Ah, ah, hee, hee, ah, ah. Don't be quick claw, don't be quick claw, don't, don't quick claw me, please. Don't quick claw me, please. I could just flames this, I believe, right? Pretty sure I could just flames it. No, I have to. Oh, no, 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 no. I do flames it. Yes. Goodbye. That way, thank you. You gotta go like this. Exclamation point nicknames. Ether, sure, I'll take it. Uh. Is it? Oh, here it is. Right, you guys. We're kind of cruising through this one, aren't we? Oh, God, hold on. It's going to be a double battle. And also, I have Blast Burn, because I think I have to Blast Burn the frickin' Armaldo. Okay. He dodged something. Oh no. Send out Metagross. Oh, what if it fakes out? Oh, nuts. What if this clicks fake out? Ah, oh, what if you click fake out, you little monster? What is this? Delilah was your name or something, right? You were definitely Delilah. Also, if you guys are tuning in and you haven't liked the stream yet, this is something that you should do. It, it's free and it helps me out a lot. Shift 3 1, Shift 3 2, Shift 3 3, Shift 3 4. Alright. Fake Out does. Alright, yeah, they see the kill with Fake Out every time, pretty much. Yeah, so they're gonna Fake Out if they have it. And I don't. You like using a revive. 
don't I just go into this thing? Are you a male? Yeah, so I could... I could, like, prop... Oh, uh, what if it's that double team set? No, then I still perish it. Yeah, so I think I'm fine with Wigglytuff gaming here, right? Yeah, let's go Wiggly. Fake me out. Got him. Fall in love with me. Aww. No love. Um. Yeah, rip. That's okay. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just kidding. It's Mecha Kick. Okay. So it's that one. Do I really perish it or do I just kind of like... I mean, what do I want to do? If it's if it's Shift 3-4, I kind of just want it to fall in love with me. I'm gonna X speed! And I'd still be slower. The Starmie was annoying. It didn't take that long. Yeah, I mean, what's the optimal play here pre pres preserving wise, right? I think it's going, is it like Parish Song? Go into Blossom and start synthesizing? Maybe? Synthesis is a useful tool though, but I can also- Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna Perish, Protect. Hit. Fall in love with me. How have you not fallen in love with me yet? Protect. Mega Kick. Into Blossom. Miss. I hate you. I, I hate you. I hate you. Shift 3. I. Hate. You. No, I don't want to sweep through the other four trainers. I mean, I've gotta, I've gotta, I've gotta... Heal this, I have to. Do I have to heal the other ones too? I don't know. I don't really want to. I hate you. I hate I should have slowed down. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Never mind. I'm gonna kill you. Guys ready for this blast burn? <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Reg Ice. Goodbye, Reg Ice. I didn't calc it, but I don't need to calc it. Destroyed. That way, thank you, Reese. Is there an item here? No. The nickname Eunuch? E U N U C K? Sure, man. Tauros is named Eunuch now. You got it. Thank you for the support, Beans Theorem. Beans Theorem has been donating a lot to nickname. Cool stuff. Okay, let's slow down though. Let's slow down. We don't need to run into trainers that we don't need to run into. Here we go. Any items over here? I don't need to scout out. Let's just get to the next. All right, four or five, you guys. Four or five. Let's go. There's gonna be a trainer here or something stupid. Item? No item. Thank you again for the donation. Okay, I don't have to ether it yet. There's no way I'm not gonna have to ether it, but I don't I don't need to now. Ether. Ha, ah, well. I mean, I just got one. How many ethers do I have? I'm getting a good amount of ethers, which I'm happy with. I don't need Bright Pot or whatever. Oh god, I forgot now. I have to- I forgot if I have to blast burn these. I'm pretty sure I don't. 
pretty sure I don't. But just to be sure. Pretty sure I don't. No, I can flamethrower this one. You mother trucker. I'll just eat her. Like, why not, right? Ooh. Did I battle on this floor already? Oh, no. Oh, don't have quick cloth. I mean, I, I gotta blast burn this, right? I have to blast burn it. I'm scary, dude. This is why running choice band on this is really scary. Because then, if I get quick clawed... I don't have a Blaze Blast Burn. Um... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I just Blast Burn its ass and just hope for the best. Yup, let's do it, you guys. Troy Specs is not in Gen 3. Goodbye. <laughs> Two more items on the ground. I don't care. Oh no. I'm out of here. That was the quick flip. Dude, this is like the quickest round ever. Bright powder, wow. See what Umberto said? Where? Oh yeah, Dario. Oh wait. Okay, Dariong. Okay, you got it, you got it. Hold on, let me change that right now. Gengar is Dariong. I got you. Thank you, Blue, for letting me know. Oh, there's a. Ch oh, it's a gauntlet. God. But there's a best way to do the gauntlet. Okay, I want to go for the youngster, right? Oh, is it? Do you ever look? No, oh, no. Oh my God. I mean, whatever. Hey, this is fine. This is probably fine. Oh, dad, come on. I can beat a dad. Uh oh. Do I just kill it? <laughs> Wait. I kill some of them with blast burn. Well, what's my other play? Who was this again? What was this dad's name? Pokefan who? Was this, a was this actually Todd? Was this really Todd? only uses Porygon 2? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. He only uses Porygon 4. This is guaranteed Porygon 4. This is guaranteed Porygon 4. So that, that does change a lot. That means that Wigglytuff does have to play a little bit scared. Because I don't know if I live two hits. How much does the... Oh, I do live two hits, and then I guess I would just, uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I just have to do some Parish strats. I could also just go for the Blast Burn kill. 
Is going for the blast burn kill the worst idea in the world? It's really about... Because I will then have to use a Hyper Potion on my Wigglytuff. I would have to use Hyper Potion on Wigglytuff. What do I value more right now? Do I just go for the kill? Ah, but then again, uh, does Blossom outpace this? What's my Blossom speed again? Ooh, Blossom does outpace this Porygon. Which means that I could go for the Blast Burn kill, and if I don't get it, Blossom does follow up with a Giga Drain. Um... That's interesting. And then I have to... Yeah, I'm factoring in Blaze. The two Pokemon, Blissey and Slaking. You can speak non-English here, but... So, Henry Autre, um, sorry for the late response. I have a self-imposed rule where I have to battle at least one trainer per floor to make it more interesting. Yeah, Slaking and Blissey. I didn't mean to say Mence, by the way. Man, dude, I kind of just want to blast burn this shit right now. Seems super funny. But I gotta go Blaze, hold on. Uh, I have a less than... Because I also can miss, and it has Bright Powder. It's actually not very likely that I even get the Blast Burn off. Maybe that's just not worth it. And instead, I do go Wigglytuff. And I try to, like... And I use, like, a Parish Song. Ugh, but then I have to use Double Potions, right? Don't I kind of care about my Hyper Potions at this point? Maybe... More so than revives, maybe? I don't know. What's the better play? Revives are important. Revives do seem very important. I don't want to use... Uh, hyper potions are so useful, though. Especially, like, soon I'm going to start having garbage leads. Like, all of my leads have been very good Pokemon into everything. The farther I go in the challenge, the less good my leads are, and I I planned it that way so that I'm stockpiling more items and items, and then as I get going, like, you start seeing things like Banned Magmar on lead. You start seeing things like, you know, Primeape on lead. So, and those strategies are probably going to involve more of, like, needing to use revives and potions, of course, but mainly revives so that I can play aggressively with those leads and then just revive them back up. So I think I'm actually more fine to use my potions right now. Am I? I also find potions more than revive. So yeah, let's just use my potions right now. I think I'm I think I'm good to use potions right now. I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Let's go wiggly. Psychic, all right, that's fine. Don't drop, please. Nice. Okay, we'll just protect again. Protect. Ice Beam, that's fine. Now we're gonna perish. It's fine, I don't even die to a crit. Perish. That's three, three. All right, now we protect. A Thunderbolt, but now they should want to Psychic. Oh, no, they, they actually click random now, but whatever. Two, two, let's go into Blossom. Don't Ice Beam. Nice. Don't... It's annoying. Ah. That's frustrating. That was, that was definitely not good for us. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Todd just started walking off. Todd was like, I'm out of here. Um, do I double potion? Well, I definitely want to lum this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Do I- I mean, I've gotta- I've gotta, right? I have to double potion. Or maybe I just potion the Wiggly? And let me just get to the exit first. Slaking a slacking, you got it, treats. That's funny. Slaking is literally slacking. That's funny, I love it. Thank you for the donation, you rock. Shoot, is this a double man? Is this a double battle? Nervous about this being a double battle. I feel like it's pretty likely to be a double battle, right? What round is Dragonite on? Um... It's on round 36 is when I'll be using Dragonite. It's with Absol and Arcanine. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like I have the potion, right? Am I wrong? Maybe I don't. No, I definitely do. I appreciate it, Umberto. Slaking, slaking, slaking. I will call it slaking to the day I die, because I think it's funny. I gotta hyper potion my Wiggly. I'm gonna hyper potion Wiggly, and I'm gonna see if I can get away with not hyper potioning Blossom. Because if you've noticed, Wiggly has been acting more of a pivot than Blossom is. So. Alright. Oh, ooh. Well, what happens when I go down? Oh, fucking hell. Do I have to blast burn this shit? I think I have to blast burn this, right? Uh... I forgot if I have to. Blank set. This is 96 now. Got what the odds are that I kill with flames. They're <laughs> yeah, I'll blast burn it. Or oh, I'll, I'll, I can actually just use this as blossom he healing opportunity. I'm actually going to use this as a blossom healing opportunity because it does nothing with rock slide. Yeah, let's use it as a blossom healing opportunity. I forgot that I could have just gone blossom into these things, but protect. That's fine. I eat that. Holy crap. Okay. Sure. Sure. Just try to run. That's fine. That's fine. Nice. Good. Nice. And we literally preserved the hyper potion that way. So... I want to fight the camper. A ranger Tyler sent out Crobat. Never mind. No. I... What? Ranger Tyler with Crobat. That's terrible. Um, just because of its speed. Oh wait, is it guaranteed Crobat four? Yes, this is guaranteed Crobat 4, actually. So, okay, that makes this still scary, but not as scary as it could have been. Um, okay, so obviously Crobat 4 is faster than Charizard. Um, or is it? Yes, it is. So, I don't want to lose my Charizard. I'm going to go into Wiggly. Um, Wiggly doesn't like taking these hits, but... Um, I can T-Wave it. Like, I mean, I think Wiggly will be fine. Oh, it's Shadow Ball! That's amazing for us. Okay, let's protect. Sludge Bomb, sure. Now let's perish its ass. Nice. Alright. 
So I can't go into Blossom on Sludge Bomb, but that's okay. So now I protect. Oh, well, something's going to have to die, I guess. Because I'm not letting Wigglytuff go down. Oh, interesting. Maybe I, uh... I mean, maybe Blossom lives? Blossom could probably live. Uh, it's actually a guaranteed death for Blossom. Ah, but maybe I'm fine with that at this point? No, let's actually think about this. Who am I going? Am I gonna let Charizard die and then I'll just sub versus a wild Pokemon? Like, is that- I think that's okay. I literally have to revive no matter what, because I'm not gonna let- I have to revive no matter what here. Crobat is a very, very unfortunate scenario. I think I actually go Charizard, because if I revive Blossom, it's only at half health. But Charizard is already operating as a Pokemon that I use at low health, and it's- this is floor 7. So let's go Zard here. And then I'll protect with Bellassum. I wasn't expecting that. Now I can go back into Wiggly. <laughs> That's nuts. That is hilarious what just happened. That's hilarious. That was very good for us. Wow. That way? Okay, that was huge for us. Amazing. Okay. I'm not going to use these X speeds, but... Here's the Shedinja. Gotta flames it. We out of here. Beautiful. Now we're on to round 14, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you know, that worked well. I'm happy that that worked. Nice. Okay, we're going to do another round. Er, uh, well, do I want to do another round? I want to, but also... I want to play Pal World with someone later today. Think about playing Pal World with someone. Do I keep going? I really do want to keep going. I keep going. Ah, uh, this one's gonna- I mean, this one's definitely gonna take longer, right? I haven't played Pal World yet. No, someone's- no, no, it's not a girl. I just don't want to say names. I have a girlfriend. Um... I want to keep playing, but I think- I feel like I should stop. I think I should stop. I think I'm gonna stop for today, you guys. I want to keep playing, but I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna take a break. But it's, I mean, I, I want to keep playing, I'm very into this, but... You know what? LRXC practicing moderation, question mark? Is this a real thing? <laughs> LRXC's gonna practice moderation? Isn't it that funny? It's crazy, isn't it? So yes, you guys, I have a Discord. It's cool stuff. Next Pyramid stream is planned to be for Friday. F-R-I-D-A-Y, Friday. But check out my Discord, join up, uh, the next Pyramid video 
should be out on Thursday. I might release it on Saturday instead, but the third part of my pyramid videos will be on Thursday or Saturday. I haven't decided when. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, thank you guys for watching today. A very cool pyramid stream. I can't believe that T-Tar battle, bro. That Tyranitar battle was just nuts. Like, that Tyranitar battle was crazy. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, especially if this is your first stream. This was good stuff. This was cool. Um, but, yeah, so let's go to 14 and floor 1. We'll do this next time because, yeah, then this is floor 15. So on Friday, we'll tackle the dark floor. The dark floor on Friday. Exciting stuff. Let's go. I could try and fit in a stream during the week, but I think I'm just going to stream the next Friday. Um, yes, thank you guys for watching. Again, join the Discord. It's a cool place. Like the stream. Do all that jazz. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Peace out. Peace out. Let me save the game. Alright. Peace out, you guys. Thank